Hey, hey guys! <laughs> Welcome to Power Rangers, Rangers Playback. Playback. You guys have been amazing. With um, you guys really listened when we were telling you to send in your super chats early because we have a ton for we this do. amazing guest. Yes, I, we we just shows how popular he is, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, without further ado, so that we can get things started like right now, we are going to bring in the one and only JDS, Jason, David, Frank. Live. <laughs> What's up, girls? Hey! Thank you so much for joining us. It's so hey, wonderful it's fun. to I've been you. waiting. Ever since you guys started, I've been waiting. It's been awesome. I can't oh, wait. Thank you. You know, everybody, people are always asking so many questions about, you know, our relationship, our friendship, and and we've always said how supportive you've been. And, and I've always told Kat, you know, I'm just in awe of you and the things that you've done, not only just with Power Rangers, just with... Your business. business, like it's just smart hand, very, you know, handling business. You have Le Legend of the White Dragon. People can see the poster that's on our um, overlay right now. Um, is there anything in particular you wanted to talk about to start out with before we get to all of these amazing questions? Uh, no, first of all, I appreciate you girls doing this. When you guys told me that you guys were doing it, I was like, perfect. It's something that like I think needed to be a, a, done a long time ago but god's planning was perfect for you two to, to do it and i and there's no one better than seeing both of you girls do it because every time i go through the feeds i see you guys not just supporting each other but truthfully i mean I, you guys always encouraged me from way back then to bless other people and you know i do i try i know i filmed the blessing the other day but i, I normally that's okay. don't you, gotta, you know that's, that's encouraging people too when they I, get I think so. There's a quite di different audience from TikTok to Instagram. It's a really big, wide, different audience. But as you girls know, you do so many good things for people that it really doesn't matter. God sees. But I, I will say that, it's just my opinion, if if God had FaceTime or Instagram, he'd be using it like, like you know, instead of walking, he'd be like, hey, guys, like kind of like Zordon. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I appreciate you girls. You guys always, you're so positive. I always see, you know, your family, first of all. I see your family, your kids, and all that stuff. So, anyway, I'm just happy to be here. And from day one, you said, hey, do you want to do this? I said, sure. We're supposed <laughs> to do it kind of in person, but I think just the way things worked out, it's, you know, it's sometimes maybe it's it's for the best. Maybe more people will tune in today because, you know, they're, this is kind of, I'd say, the new age. Hopefully, it's a temporary thing that we're going through, but kids just think this is the way it is now. Yeah. So. yeah, and with COVID, we've all had to get a little creative. I know in the beginning of it, you did your little live uh, interviews with everybody, yeah. and it's really nice to be able to bring that to people. Um, we've all had to just think a little bit out of the box right now. So. Yeah. And which but brings me to um, like your Power Ranger um, protection program. Why don't you yeah. tell everyone about that? I know they've been seeing you all over the place. But. Yeah, um, well, First, when I did that live show, it was, and you girls know, it's the commitment and the dedication and the trust that people put in you. It's like every, you know, when they see your show, they know you're going on. I might be running 60 seconds before, and everyone's like, oh, my God, where is it? I'm, I'm, I'm just like that, but I'm consistent. Even on the live show, you know, it's like you're going live, and you know how it is. You're like, we're going live in 10 seconds, and let me do this, and boom, we're live. <laughs> I did that for about 45 days and then actually just kind of going a little stir crazy. I mean, it's funny because I write, I used to write a lot, which you girls encouraged me to write. And then it just kind of like, stop, you know what I mean? And it's, I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing. I just, I kind of just, yeah, we had to get creative. So I wanted to, which we talked about you girls coming up here too. I wanted to do kind of a program, the PPP. I have a business loan, a business, and most people have small businesses the payroll protection program, which only lasted for like a month or two. Um, and so I just thought of us, Power Rangers. You know, we used to protect the world. So it just kind of went PPP, Power Ranger Protection Program. And then I figured out how can we do this without having hundreds of people stand around and wait and, and you know, not be safe. So it's just through, you know, a, an app. You just grab a number and you move on and you do what you have to do, which I think that's what Comic-Con should be anyway. Yeah. You get to do whatever you do and then we'll call you up and social distancing, maybe six or seven people in a store and kind of just to help comic books, the comic book shops. I stopped by 
four comic book shops. And the last one I went by just to drop off some free stuff. I wasn't going to go on social media because I read, don't post the blessings. But the only reason I did is because people don't know the shop. So some are new at social media. So as soon as I posted, I said, hey, I'm at Zeus's Comics. The fo- I walked in and they're like, where are you and what's going on? And the phones are ringing going, is he signing? Is he signing? And they had no clue. And then I told them, they're like, that's why our phone's ringing. So it's just, um, awesome. I ride my motorcycle and just trying to keep social distancing. And I just think right now mentally, uh, for, for myself, I mean, I'm, I'm not, not to, not to be greedy, but for myself is mentally trying to, to cope. And that's when I, when, when I did post that, I did want for my birthday, instead of, you know, hitting me and inboxing me, I wanted to see if it would work. Like my social media platform worked just like, Hey, for my birthday, do something good. And I was, I was thinking maybe it was like, you know, 500,000 people are gonna, that did something good, maybe call a relative or yeah. a relative you don't get along with. I don't know. Just anyway. So I love yeah, these girls so, yeah. a lot. They love it. That's and I love you guys are together as a group. Uh, you're always there. It's it really, and I really truly say this, you girls are probably the only ones, I hate saying it from the series, that show teamwork, that doesn't show greed that doesn't show my hits or your hits it's like together. You're doing it together. And I really enjoy seeing that because most of the times, as you know, in business, sometimes people separate, you know, it's, you see the separation it happens when, you know, Savon and Disney and then the Hasbro you, between a division between, but you guys are just showing, you know, teamwork. We're, we're how you guys she's, she's the smart one and the organized one. And I'm the ditzy, like, no, no, no. <laughs> it's a, how, did, how was it on set with us? Do you remember? Did you yeah, of course. <laughs> no, well, he loved us. I, no, I, I love working with you girls. I think it wasn't even work. That's what it's, it's for me. There's that song. You know, that song says, I got the brains. You got the looks. Let's <laughs> make lots of money. Some old school song. I used to hear that. My brother would be like, am I the brains or the look? And I'd be like, I guess you'll be the looks and I'll be the brain, but, uh, <laughs> but it really didn't feel like work. Honestly. I mean, we, you know, we, as you know, we spent a lot of time behind the sets, having fun, making jokes. Um, so I, I was, I think I was blessed to have that kind of a job yeah. because I ride a motorcycle really well because my mind's like, bing, 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 bing. I'm looking for everything. And I have to stay busy. So in that industry, <clears throat> Oh, it, Sorry, I got I got people blowing up my phone. Oh, yeah. like, I was like, hey, you froze. You're like, no, they they <laughs> they think on live, so they want to call. Oh, which, that's funny. Just watch, but uh, we get asked have, all the time, Jay, about was what was he like on set? Was he a prankster? And I'm like, oh, you have no idea. <laughs> I can't even remember all the things you did. <laughs> I do. I know. I forget a lot of stuff. But you know, the tur- the picture you posted in the Turbo movie that was that was a scene that you guys did that was uh, that was canceled after no, that when that, you were in the window. That was actually Polly um, took a picture of me. I was just sitting oh. there. And um, I was watching them filming below, and he was in the other room, and like he was still he was peeking, peeking oh. like a peep. Yeah, he was a peep. I'm kidding. <laughs> so he uh, just took a the picture of you and sent it to me, and said, "Hey, Kat, I this picture. I took this picture of you." And I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's crazy! I didn't even know he took it." It's beautiful yeah. shot. Yeah, but that that whole scene we did for Turbo was cut. Remember, we were in the bleachers yeah. and we were watching a baseball scene, and that's yeah, right. Yeah, I just remember the. Uh, People look every time I sign because, you know, I know I know those details, you know, with the torch. Everyone says, where was that scene? I'm like, ah, I didn't make it. Like, how, how come? I'm like, because me and Kat torched an alligator. So they're <laughs> most likely we're like, I don't think we should do that. <laughs> they were smart. I, yeah. The, uh, but, but it's still, you know, they, they put stuff together. I'm still signing autographs. Me and you with the blowtorch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It wasn't what? even in the movie and they had it on the back of the, the DVD. Crazy. Yeah. There were some and great those, scenes those, cut out. Yeah. And then the comic book that says uh, John David Frank in the uh, movie thing, they, you know, I open the credits, I look at their book, and I'm like, it's a good book. They're like, yeah, no. I'm like, no, this this one really is a good book because it's a, it's an error. And I show them, they're like, what's the error? And I'm like, right here. John and they're David like, Frank. So what's the error? I said, it says John David Frank. <laughs> well, Lisa says JDF. No, it's not the point. I don't want to that. I want my name. <laughs> so that's crazy. That's funny. They didn't care. Some of the the promo pictures we laugh at of like oh. like you just look like a hot mess. I, I look like a hot mess. And I feel like a bobblehead. <laughs> I cannot stand the turbo 
No. <clears throat> I can't stand those pictures. I hate my Zio pictures. They're ridiculous. But they don't even ask. I mean, on some baseball cards, like literally I'm zooming in some baseball cards and it's like. <laughs> and I'm looking like, can you not just, I think literally they go play, freeze, print. Yeah. <laughs> play, I mean, every, I'm looking now at details. I'm thinking there's not one time where, uh, you know, where they said it was approved. There's two pictures I have out there. The Green Ranger one where I'm like this because we're doing a photo shoot. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> and they're it. like, that became the thing. And then there's another, because I don't smile that much. There's another one where I was the White Ranger. Something like this. They're like, I said, okay, you know, work the camera, work. I'm thinking, bud, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to go like this? <laughs> Long hair, baseball card. So those two cards. And then, of course, the Zeal thing we did that was supposed oh. to like, don't. Oh, looks. yes, yeah. That, you know, that yeah. photo sells well, too. That, that photo became very popular, yes. yes. You know, I, I got that. There on the boat, um, when we were filming Turbo, you had your tattoo, and they didn't yeah. pay for us to have hair and makeup, and you were like, yeah. guys, and you were like, messed your hair up, and you were like, doing this to, the, the, helicopter. to the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But I, I people do ask about that, though. Like, hey, why is your hair so straight in this movie? And so nappy in the other one. I said, guys, that was hair. It was just nappy. Like, it just froed. I mean, literally. I like a fro. I wish I had a fro. <laughs> well, they were like curly fries. I mean, that, that they were. I mean, it was just I'm like that curly fries. Curly. We talked and about that. That was actually one of our questions. We were yeah. like, why? Because in one episode, you're in the same outfit. It's one day. Your hair is completely straight. And then for the next scene, it's completely curly. And we were talking about that. Because you were tired of them flat ironing your hair, yes. too. That I, burned your I, hair. Yeah, it was a long process. I mean, I, I love all the girls out there that flatten their hair. But I just, I couldn't. I've been, I was a girl for <laughs> seven years on set, showing up early. Yep. Just layers of, you know. You and and not just, Always let's, let's spread stuff in it. Yeah. Let's do the silk. Let's, like, it was just a long process, you know. <laughs> let's not burn and so I was like, who cares, man? Let's just go. It looks great. <laughs> but that's what happened. Literally in Turbo, I said, okay, forget it. And then we did that scene, Cat, where I was like with Largo, you know, reaching for Largo and I had my tattoos. Yes. So like, well, we don't have makeup. I'm like, well, I'm just going to show my tattoos. Like, no. So we put dirt on it, you know? Oh, that's like, right. The they did do that. <laughs> yeah, we're like, buddy. And it's like, oh, whatever that thing was. I'm like, you know, reaching out. So you see in the movie just like a bunch of dirt, but that's because it was covered. <laughs> I remember because I'm like, that's that's how it was on set. It like, makeup. It was. Crazy. Okay, let's roll. <laughs> let's change in the car. You look fine. <laughs> change in the car. All right, we're going to get to these questions. Yeah. We have okay. A million a questions for you. We are doing all of the super chats first. Make oh sure the date. Gosh. Yes, I'm September. Good. All right, the first one is from David Mackin. We're just going to do super chat. Super chat. Oh. Super chat. Raise them up. We usually do have a whole dance yeah. day, but we we're go. cutting it down. Super down. chat. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Raise them up. Hi. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there but we, we go. have too many to do, so we're just going <laughs> to. <laughs> okay. Um, David Mackin says he's one of our members. What does it mean to you to have a positive influence on your fans? Happy belated birthday. I hope you can come out to Ohio again soon. Ah, uh, thank you. It, 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 it feels great now because you're all grown up. And I really think that you already, you already have the message, but it's, it's great that you can like tell us the message. Cause as a kid, sometimes we're, people don't listen to us, but it feels great to be a role model, but you guys truthfully, and you girls too, everyone keeps me as a role model. If, if, if I didn't have to be here or, you know, try to stay in shape and do karate. I don't think I, I don't know. I wouldn't have held it together. I think you guys really hold me together. And it's a, it's a blessing to sit here and say, Oh, we got so many questions versus like, uh, hello. What do we do here? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. You guys. And, yeah. Super chat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one's yeah. Dwayne Cooley. Super chat. Where are you Whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, you read this. JDF, one. Green Ranger will always be my favorite Ranger of all times. My question is, JDF, how does it feel to be called upon to come back so often? And do you plan to come back until the day you die? <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> really like uh, seven uh, weeks. Jeff I do. Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh. What did that? I like going back because first of all, I get to keep my helmet on Ninja Steel, oh, so I was yeah. able to keep that baby on Ninja Steel. Oh, so awesome. uh, they 
uh, something. <laughs> I don't know to the day the day I die, but as long as <clears throat> I can fit in <clears throat> something like this, <laughs> the day I can't fit in something like this, you're probably not going to see me. All right, I love that. That's beautiful. Okay, <laughs> super chat. Raise them up high. That's it. Super chat. Raise them up high. Chris Kolka, <laughs> one of our members. Why did you return for Dino Thunder? Uh, well, the truth is the ratings, you know, went to Disney, uh, Doug Sloan and Knapp, uh, we worked with for a long time. They went to Disney. They were the executive producers. Ratings were dropping on Disney. I don't know. They put it on the back burner. I got called by Ann Knapp, Doug Sloan said, Hey, we'd love for you to come back. And I said, uh, <laughs> we'll come back as a teacher. And then they said, wear, wear glasses and a tie. And I said, like a mentor? I said, okay, that sounds good. So I really went back, on, honestly, because Doug and Ann were friends, and I did go back to try to boost up ratings. It worked a little, um, but I couldn't get, like, one interview after I did Dino Thunder. Like, I got one. People were, really? oh, how are you still going? Oh, you did what? So literally, like, one interview for this return promotion. So it was really the ratings were just on the down slope. So I went back to pick it up a bit. And then, of course, when Saban bought it back, it, it went back to the roof again. Yeah. For now. All right. Another one. Super Chad. Raise my pie. <laughs> um, Dwayne Cooley. We, That's we, the second one. He has another one. Which one are we doing? This Chris one, again? Okay. Um, Dwayne Cooley. Dwayne Cooley says, to piggyback off of my JDF question, Kat, when do you think they'll call you to come back? Oh. Nakia, do you think they'll ever call you to come back? Back. Do you hope for at least the 30th anniversary special? Oh, yeah. well, I did come back. I, I, I came back for uh, Ninja Steel Jay, with Jay, and um, we had so much fun, didn't we, in New Zealand? It was yep. so fun. We did. Um, but it was, it, I think they could have done a lot more. It was. It's disappointing when they do those reunion episodes because they don't kind of bring the character back. You're just kind of like a stand-in. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, so if I came back, I would want to do something more as a homage to my character and being a mentor would be really fun. I would, I would do that. I would love to come back. Um, I just live vicariously through Kat when she was there <laughs> through pictures and I talked to her every day. Um, but yeah, I would love to come back. Who knows what the 30th anniversary looks like if, you know, if Power Rangers is still going, I'm hearing rumors. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure still, and I'm sure there's going to be people now, even now because Hasbro watches everything. There's going to be people, our age group that sits there and goes, I wonder why we spent all this money on a reunion episode and it goes 20 minutes and then we only have dialogue for a minute for this character. Yeah. There's going to be, let's do a five-parter. Yeah. You know what? Or we can't match the Japanese footage. We're not in the Legend of the White Dragon. We're creating it. Create footage, a little footage, a fight scene <clears throat> like you girls, and then cut it together. So, yeah. I mean, 30 years, that's like, ew, I would never think. 30-year anniversary. That's close. Is like, that's close. Or, yeah. It will be there. It'll, it'll keep going. And I promise right now, everyone watches. There's going to, right now, we had a lot of, I think, old executives that just did no clue what Power Rangers was. And now we're having these newer kids that are like, I'd love to do a movie with you. Or, you know, uh, so anyway, I'm sure if they get their stuff together, they, you know, you guys are running the fan. Look what we're doing right now for the whole entire franchise. Yes, exactly. That's what I said. You're, we're, we're, we are picking. Pitching, promoting every season, including Beast Morphers, to representing almost all Rangers right now in this minute that we're doing. Yeah, we're helping, exactly. We're helping exactly. to keep it going. So. It's, true. it's true. It's true. Even yeah. conventions and even the, your PPP program. Same thing. Yeah. Same okay. thing. Yeah. Okay. Right. Super chat. Raise them up high. Chris Kolka again. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Tommy is popular among the fans? Um... I think personally, just the way that I think that they branded it. I mean, I love my character. I love who I am. But, you know, always the this the, the, the new kid, the limited toy, the, you know, I, I think that's kind of what it is. And then when I came back as the White Ranger, when kids, you know, when I left as a Green Ranger, everyone freaked out. But it was more, I think, of a legal issue when people were calling Fox going, we need this guy back. Kids won't come to school. They're not eating. I think really? Boston lawsuit let's uh yeah they put a petition nice. together there was oh a petition gosh. of wow. like people saying fox like crayons like people were writing letters into fox really? and when time savant said hey uh you know they're calling shuki was saying they were that was when they were calling 
you know, you can call. It's a phone. Uh, fuck, fuck, <laughs> yeah, call the phone. Like the exactly. rotary phones that you want. Yeah. <laughs> and they just were like, okay, well, there's not like, Jason, do you want to come back? Fans asked like, hey, uh, when you decided, there was no deciding. It was like, Jason, you're going to go back. I and mean, we, you know, they didn't explain this, but uh, they would interpret, hey, we don't want to get sued. So you're coming back as the White Ranger. That's pretty much, they were worried about, you know, kids not eating and stuff. And so how but, do you, I, I've, ne I've never seen you as the Green Ranger, I believe it or not. I'm going to have to watch yeah. it. That's terrible, but I haven't. So good, when, though. How did you um, leave the show when you were the Green Ranger? How did you? Uh, I just, they were thinking just lost the power. The candle oh. blew out, which is a good question because I had to go revisit. I had to watch a movie the other day that was like 20 years. But uh, Tommy just lost his power and I didn't die or anything. It was just like, okay, cool done for Tommy, and then I was doing Cybertron. So when oh, Hein right. talked to me, said, hey, uh, invited me to his house in Beverly Hills. He had a really nice house. He wasn't like mega rich, but it was a nice house. And invited me and uh, said, hey, we want to do this new show, Cybertron. You're very popular as the Green Ranger. We're going to do that syndicated, which I didn't know what syndication was. We're a network show, which thank God. But he said, we're going to sell it syndicated. And I got the poster in my garage. They sold about 60 to 70% of syndication based off the Green Ranger, a popular Green Ranger now, you know, coming to Cybertron. Uh, and I went to his house. I remember we had chopsticks. I didn't know how to use chopsticks, so I was hoping this guy, because <laughs> I'm a karate guy, I don't know. We had chopsticks, and he asked if I wanted a Pellegrino, and I was trying to be really good, and I said, no, sir, and I was thinking I don't want to drink in front of the boss. <laughs> and then I didn't. And then I found out Pellegrino was bubble water. And I was like, oh, sparkling water for the rich. It sounds like a really elegant, I don't know, Pellegrino. <laughs> but it, uh, and then I came back as, as the White Ranger because, it, again, they had a match of Japanese footage. Right. So that's okay. the storylines, oh. which they can easily do American footage for us if they wanted to. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Uh, Super Dad, raise my pie. Scott Bicklicky. Also, JDF, you met Connor and Carter at Incon, Nottingham last year. So Big Licky is one of our, his name is Scott. Um, okay. Oh, is it this one right yeah. here? Oh, but you, you did that one I did too. this, yeah, that one too. One. So, oh, this is another part. Um, <laughs> hi, JDF. It's been a while since MCM. I'd like to say that you are my childhood hero since I was eight. Power Rangers is is a childhood show, my childhood show. The show got me and Kirsty together. Now Connor and Carter watch the show now from Scott. So, they are, um, when we were all at MCM, uh, he and his wife, um, were, were all there and they have two kids and they came up to your table and I think he was dressed in the green, green ranger. Yeah, he was outfit. one of the green ranger outfits. Yeah. And his yeah. wife was in the yellow ranger. Right? Yeah. No, no. She okay. didn't come in the yellow ranger. She did that not day. That no. Okay. Yeah. But okay. this is an extension. Kids were dressed up or was his kids cosplaying or no? Yeah. Wearing yeah, power. Cosplaying. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. he, he further says, so let me do it. Bring it, chat. Up. Bring, Bring it up. Bring it up. Yep, that. Scott, <laughs> Scott also says, I am a backer of Legend of the White Dragon. Really excited for it. What is your favorite team up episode? Mine is Forever Red. Uh yeah, you know, it's it's funny. Someone asked me that and I totally forgot Forever Red was a uh was a team up. I thought for some reason Forever Red was a Forever Red was besides that, but Forever Red was the way the team ups needs to be. That was a really yeah. good thing. Um in, in my own idea, I would have my own favorite team up. As you girls know, we have our own chats. I got, I would have my own team up. But I would think for me, going back, probably Ninja Steel was as close as they can get. Mega Force was, uh, it was just short. We didn't morph. We didn't do anything. So I had a list for my fans of, of Ninja Steel. And I know sometimes people think I'm difficult to work with. But for that time, I told Chip, I'm not coming unless we do this, that, this, that, this, that, this. So then they cut half of the scene out which was JJ, which was our kid. They cut that part out. I said, no, we kind of need a family, and I need to say, you know, it's more for time than the White Tiger. Anyway, I got pretty close to what I wanted on the list, yeah. although it was really fast. Um, but I would probably say that because other times, like Kat was saying, and if you brought us three back or you girls back, you need three parts. It's not, you know, they think, just let me put your face in, and fans go, oh, and they will, like the movie that I did, the newer movie, but – that shows you that they want you. You know what I mean? Sure, that season, but the, the episodes, like you said, you don't want to just stand around being an extra or me just doing this in a film, you know, a $120 million film. I feel like this is all I got, but that's all you needed because people relate to that. They're like, oh, that was the best part of the movie. It's like, what happened to the other part of the $120 million that 
they could be smart and gear an episode. So I would probably say Ninja Steel just because, um, you know, I don't know. I just got to keep you it got cool. To fight cool. Too. Yeah. yeah. I like, I liked the make this master morpher and all that stuff, but yeah, I, it didn't I, come out. You didn't even, that. I'm supposed to be your wife and you don't even care. You didn't even speak to me the whole thing. <laughs> No, we kind of helped. <laughs> I didn't even kinda, know. I watched yeah. the episode, but I didn't know you guys were even supposed to be married. And was that what was supposed well, to? He held we, my we, hand at the end. Different universes. Yeah. It, it was so weird. The whole thing, like you didn't. Rocky and I didn't even acknowledge that we even knew each other. <laughs> What's this? I know. Well, we held hands through the to jump into the, the dimension. The, through the that, portal. Yeah. So it was alluded it, to. It was alluded. Okay. All right. Um, it was like, uh, like yeah. raising my pie. What'd you what say? That she's like, hold my hand in the sea, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't wait. I just... We're married. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, Donimus Prime. Hi, Jason. My favorite episode is Thunderstorm because it featured my two favorite rangers, Tommy and Cam. Cam? Cam? Is that right? What was it like working with Jason Chan? Yeah, which uh, I got to figure out which episode that was. Was it, he said, Fighting Spirit? No. Uh, it could have been a helmet. It could have been a, a helmet. Thunderstorm. And you worked with Cam? It was Tommy and Cam? Uh, Brain. I have to. <laughs> I think there was a lot of a lot of episodes I did in Helmet too that a lot of voices weren't, that I unfortunately did okay. the voices on it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm sure everybody was great. I'm going to go back and research that episode, but I need to know the episode in the season, is what I'm saying. Right. Right. We've what's, done a lot, yeah. lot of episodes. Yeah. No, no. What's the season he's saying? Thun, he, he said Thunderstorm, so I'm presuming it was probably your dino... Ninja Storm, Nin maybe? I don't it, know. It could have been. It was if, if it, it could have been if the Forever Red or after when I was a Dino Thunder Air. Yeah. I wasn't at put it in Helmet Head and ran across a few right. a few people. Yeah, so Which I didn't know, which they didn't ask. They just did it, and Jeff did the voice, the White Ranger. Did my voice because oh, he was really? in the field. Oh, that's hey, crazy. Hey, guess voice real quick. He's like, all right, I guess. So the key eyes were way off, but he tried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Super Dad, Dad raise him up high. This is one of our channel members, Jason Phillips. For all three of three of you, favorite Zord and why? We'll start with you, Jay. I thought he was saying all three of me, and I was saying, okay, I think he's referring to Jason, <laughs> David, and Frank. <laughs> So yes, thank God, because I was thinking, oh no. But uh, I, I mean, the, the Tiger Zord, White Ranger was great. Green Ranger was Dragon Zord was the original, so it's hard to get that out of my mind. But I sure liked uh, becoming a White Ranger. But I, I think the Dragon Zord probably. Yeah, pretty cool. Just because it's the first, I don't know. Yeah, it's like the first car. And you had a little do 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 do, you like a little whistle thing. I flute. did a flute. flute. Do -do -do. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I don't blow the flute often. <laughs> The dragon sword comes out of the ocean. Okay. Really? That's very exciting. Interesting. <laughs> what about you? Um, I, I, I'm not too um, knowledgeable about the Zord stuff, but I'm going to go with um, the uh, crane Zord. Was there a Zord? Did I have a crane? <laughs> Isn't it the Megazord? Like the parts of the Megazord? Yes. It's called the Zord. So. Yes. And I, I, no, I rode in his. I know that. And then I had a leg. You stole like his falcon zord. I stole your falcon zord. And then I had a foot in Zio, I think. <laughs> I don't That's I like dragons because it's a whole zord. It's, a, it's easy. You, you get your own zord. I never yeah. had my own zord. I was like a yeah. leg or something. I think like the Zio Mega zord is my favorite. I don't know. Connect and, you know, yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, Mega zord. Yeah. You had all the cool toys, didn't yes. you? Yes. Still does. What Still were you? does. What were you? I don't know. <laughs> Why she, hey, she's trying to avoid that question, and you called her out. She's like, yeah, yeah, Megazord. Yeah, like, just, yeah, Megazord. Cool, Megazord. Which Zord's your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Wasn't like, my car the Zord, too? Yeah, we all cars. had cars. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. that. Doomstar. Uh, Doomstar Doom 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 Star was, was my favorite. <laughs> all, all right. right. Okay. Uh, Super, Super Dad, Dad, raise my pie. So Chris we'll read those two together. Chris Kolka, who is one of our members. He says, do you think Ninja Steel should have been a longer, longer than one episode? Yes. I do. Yes, I agree. I think a, a good thing for a re reunion, in my opinion, was the Green Evil series was like one of the most popular series because it was a five part episode. It was a small mini, uh, you know, soap opera. And I think it's just so fast with Power Rangers, so many of them that they can't 
really follow the kids can little kids but this age group we're not reaching that's why everyone's asking we're giving them attention span of a five or six year old that's why you are a glorified extra because the little kids are like cool but they're not little no more right they're they're like you were saying your fans the mom and dad who met that have this, this the kids yeah. now you got two generations so yeah it needs to be longer to yeah. grab if they want to grab the attention span of the 20 25 30 35 yes. year olds yeah. a little two year old three year old is okay yeah. but mom and dad want more yeah exactly so, exactly yeah. he also said are you going to be coming back to michigan anytime soon i missed you last time you were here well, I'm hoping it come to a lot of different places. I'm kind of just doing this little Texas tour, and then I'll go to Louisiana, Arkansas. I'm kind of building it out a little bit. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing right now, the, the PPP. It's it's like everything. It's like a mini tiny comic con yeah. safe. You know, you've got the comic books pops. I mean, these comic shops almost have everything a comic con has, except they're small, you know, limited. And I'll, I'll tell you one thing, girls. Like, I promise I'll go, and I'll try to stop by – you know, shop and sign stuff like, Hey, I'm going to sign some stuff for free. And they're like, Oh yeah, we sold out almost every power ranger thing. Like we have nothing left to sign. <laughs> One shop, I'm like, you gotta have something. It's like, all we have is like a Lord Zed pop. I'm like, what? okay, so let me sign it. So here in Texas, you guys can't, they can't keep power ranger stuff in here. Texas, it was, there's a lot of fans in Texas. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that yesterday. Yeah. There's a lot, so I can't wait till you girls come down here. I, I stopped at a, uh, which I'm going called Oil City Comics. It was in the middle of nowhere, and I found out it was actually a pretty big town. But I stopped. He had a bunch of stuff, you know, because it was a small shop. I signed it. He posted, "Hey, contact me if you know through because he's selling it online. They were already sold out. So for sure, I go in there, and there's so many fans I'd love to see. And I, I know you guys will make your way down here, but it's great to go into a shop and see that. Every with the demand for everyone to get stuff, but there's still no content for the age group that's watching. Right, right. So we got this content, which is great. It's just going to hype people up more to go, yeah, win, let's do it. You know, so maybe someone from Hasbro or someone's watching that's young that says, no, no, you don't understand. I've had to talk to big investors that don't know who we are at all. So I have to explain it in a nutshell. Like, I don't really know how to explain Power Rangers within like one minute pitch. <laughs> Like SpongeBob, like whoever went in and said, "Let me put uh, a sponge," you know, lives under the sea. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. sold, you know. So yeah. anyway, it's um, true. It's hard to describe it. You know, yeah. it's, but it's it, it is it's colorful. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, next question. Big Licky again. Super chat. Spread them up high. Do you love the episode "Fighting Spirit"? I don't. I do like. I do like Fighting Spirit. I. Uh, I thought that if they added Turbo, which was okay, in the book that when uh, the 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 book when I was married to Cat in the book Soul of the Dragon, they did use the uh, the uh, um, Red Turbo. And the only reason I say to add it is so it doesn't take away from what's missing. Like if you show someone a beautiful puzzle piece, everybody won't appreciate the art. They just want to know what the missing piece is. You know. So and, uh, and that was a great episode. I wish. Uh, Turbo was in it because everyone says that was a great episode, but I got one question, JDF, where was Turbo? I have no clue where Red Turbo was. I just uh, definitely liked the episode, but if you look closely, you'll see me as all different sizes because the stuntmen are different sizes. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of like, yeah. They, 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 they and keep that consistent, guys. <laughs> one thing, not the height on the other guy. <laughs> God. That's funny. Okay, David Mackin, Super Chad, raise him up high. Hi, Jason. I know you get booked for cons quickly, but I want to bring your attention to a con called Fantasticon. Check it out. Okay. Well, well I'll there take you this. go. That sound, those, the name of those cons are so simple because Amazing Comic Con, Jimmy, as you know, in Hawaii, which y'all girls need to make it out yeah. to that one. Jimmy's a great guy especially Hawaii and uh but it's called Amazing Con and I swear every time I get interviews it's like it's amazing so if there's a fantastic <laughs> so easy to say how was it you will get hooked and say fantastic fantastic because I sound so cheesy when they're like how's this con go con go and I instantly say amazing I'm like oh it's called Amazing Con, con. <laughs> but, an oh, easy well, name so maybe fantastic every, every word is it's amazing. amazing oh it's so amazing at the amazing we'll con. look into that 
Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Super chat. Raise them up high. April, who is one of our members, uh, she says, you don't have white dragon stuff when you come to Dallas. Ha ha. Thank you for always being an awesome, being so awesome when I got to meet you. Aww. Thank you. Uh, I didn't have, I do, I mean, <clears throat> you know, I, I can't really travel around with the, with the sword, you know, like, I mean, oh, I can't yeah. like travel around with the white Ooh. sword. But, you know, Look sometimes, that. sometimes I'll carry stuff, but you know, it's definitely not a flute. It does throw you off. Right? <laughs> but he does but, talk to you. That's, yeah, that's kind of cool. Flute, <laughs> it's, it's like this. Shh. Like when we were married in our episode, <laughs> Dad was like. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Silencio, silencio, please. Okay, I'll put this one here. Okay. Okay, it looks like we've caught up, so Yay. I can now put some. So what? No what? more super chat, super oh, chat. No, raise we have, them up we, have high. Them, we raise them up high, but now we have them on the screen. High. Yes, as well. Yes. Okay. You ready, Jason? You ready? I'm Here ready. we go. Super, super chat. chat. Raise them up high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got. I'm going to let you try and figure out that name. <laughs> okay. Um, El Sorprendente Bloque. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My question for JDF is: Will you ever come to Chile? Since at the beginning of this year, you canceled it. Greetings. Oh, wow. Just talk to the, the promoter. I didn't cancel the show. Let's back it up, Chile. Chile, <laughs> last year, Chile was uh, the government canceled the show because of, <laughs> well, I don't mean it like that, but I guess I found it. Like that. Um, the, the government canceled Chile last year. <laughs> I didn't mean it like a back it up, Chile, but the government canceled it last year and the government canceled it this year. Y'all gonna oh, talk okay. soon, you get off the line, you're gonna be like, what did he say? Back it up, Chile. <laughs> but uh, I didn't cancel the show, but I'd love to come to Chile sometime. I'm gonna wait, that's gonna be a new dance. Back it up, Chile. <laughs> Just like me Whoa. trying to pronounce Sky House. Back, right? up, Let's go home. Chile. back it up, Chile. Okay, All right, uh, next here one. we go. Next question. Um, Robbie. Oh, the chat. Back. Right. <laughs> All right. Back. I was taking this off. Right. Yeah. Wow, that was special. <laughs> oh, and scene. Okay. Okay. Woo. Super made, chat. That made me laugh. Wait. Super, Super chat. chat. Raise them up high. JDF, I challenge you to a duel. Your Power Ranger Saba and Dragon Dagger versus Shepherd's Crook. Ooh, I don't know, Shepherd's Crook. I don't know. I think the I think the dragon, the dragon, uh, the dragon zord and the uh, white tiger zord will have a fight yeah. on their hands. Yeah, we'll yeah, have yeah. to just throw that white flag up. Yeah, you're you're <laughs> you're gonna take them down. Shepherd's Crook wants. Say hey, what? Let's be a team, and then you th you think of another team that we can team up with. So you're on my team, and then we'll think of another team. <laughs> All right. All, right. All right. Next question. Uh, Skyhound. Skyhound. I can say it now. <laughs> Super chat. Raise them up high. Another one of our members. <laughs> Skyhound. You know I can pronounce it now. <laughs> Last time, because the O was big, so I was like Sky Hound. Oh. oh, Sky. I give you girls credit for reading names, though, like that. Like, I would be nervous reading names. Yeah, okay. Some of the names are When hard. doing the anniversary episode of Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel, what was it like doing the fight from reference to Dino Thunder, Fighting Spirit, but in reverse? Uh, I thought it was a, well, I thought it was a good episode. The only reason is because I get to, uh, I thought it was, I thought Dino, 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 <sighs> Dino Thunder, Dino Three. Thunder, Thunder episode. I get to fight myself, so I had to do like the <laughs> Tommy, yeah. Tommy. I did all these voices, then it was just a little creepy and scary. But uh, but I, I actually I did enjoy that episode. There was one part where I was laying in the hospital like this the whole time, and they're like, "Cut." <laughs> like, I'm like, "You were asleep." No, I was. <laughs> No, I was, I was method acting. That's oh, what the director. That was excellent. I'm getting into character right now. I, I, I'm convinced. I'm getting into character. <laughs> Leave JDF alone, man. He's really doing his method acting. Yes, please. Gosh, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay ever... um, who are we up to? Super Chat. Raise him up high. high. RX Superstar. Hope everyone is doing well. JDF, can you tell us about Legend of the White Dragon and Catherine's role in it? 
Is Nakia a part of it? The legend, well, man, I sure would love to put everybody. This is going to be, the thing is, what's happening with it? Well, this is the legend of the White Dragon. But here's what here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to just do one thing and, and try to cram everything. I'm really trying to build this universe. So, of course, my friends, anyone who want to be involved, but I don't want to just cram, like we're saying, little parts. I wanted to build this huge universe. Uh, and Legend of the White Dragon, it is one of those ideas where you look at this and people are like, oh, uh, you know, we're copying Power Rangers. There's so many Japanese footage in Japan right now that aren't Power Rangers. They're just yeah. thinking outside of the box. Mm -hmm. And this is like the like what I'm trying to say, Hasbro, do American footage. This is American footage that we don't have to match the yeah. storyline. Yeah. So we're able to, to build our footage around what we want. Like if you two are in Japanese footage are fighting, then we got to build a story around why you guys are fighting. So we're able to build our own. So uh, Legend of White Dragon is going to be great, and it's going to be – uh, something that I'm hoping to build a huge universe for sure. We're doing the film. We're talking to other people right now about extending it to a, a big, big series. We have a lot of people involved, but of course, it's just one of those things where, like with Cat's role and and Jenna's role, it's not over. It's like we're you know we have a, a pre sequel, we have the movie, we have the beginning and the end, so we have to strategically place people so we can now follow these people mm -hmm. and not just you know that star. We have a, there's a lot of you will see the movie and be like, oh, that just There's ended like layers. There's like, a lot of layers to it. Yeah. yeah, not even cliffhanger. It's like, oh, when are we going to get to like, you know, but it's not done like Power Ranger movie was. It, yeah. It's not like, okay, well, we're going to build this universe like Bloodshot. And then we're going to really build a storyline. And then we're going to like do number two. No, it's like action packed. What fans want to see. It, it captivates. It's not a build up to just uh, next movie. It's a, it's a buildup during the whole, you know, you got fight scenes, we got a lot of action, and then there's a story. So we're kind of giving everyone that what they want. Like Power Rangers, there wasn't enough action in the Power Ranger movie. I Blood agree. Shot. Are you guys still doing rewrites, or have you pretty much settled oh, the no. script? We're writing, yeah. yeah. We're writing as the budget grows. Wow. It's like, one, you know, where it's like, okay, well, now, oh, well, okay. Now we're going to write this. Now we can add this. Now we're creating a whole new... You know, because the Legend of the White Dragon suit, it's expensive to build these suits, but yeah. now we're getting good deals because we got three, not Legend of the White Dragons. We got Dragon Prime. We have so many other characters that you will be, oh my God, that looks like it should belong in Star Wars slash Power Rangers slash Transformers slash Universe type of things. So we're building a lot of a lot of suits. So awesome. uh, in the beginning, we had very, very minor things for a very short film, but now it's being able, like you were saying, the kids layers of stuff that you can build yeah. and we do want to bring other people in, but I, I don't want to push all these people in it and try to sell it off our name because that's right now, as you can see, we're, we got a lot of stuff we're doing and, and things don't need to be sold off our name. We, right. we, I don't want to just throw someone in like me and Amy doing a picture and saying, okay, thanks. You're done. It's like, I, if I involve someone, I really want to involve someone and say, this is a cool script. Like when I was watching, uh, uh, the Tupac thing. What was it, Nakia? The, uh, Unsolved. That was called? Unsolved. Unsolved. I loved. I loved it. And as soon as I saw, I mean, your part. You're such a strong actress. I was thinking. I didn't know right away. It didn't click. I was thinking, oh, she's gonna be a really, uh, you know, strong character, and because your acting was so great, and I, and then I was like, oh, that'd be perfect. Oh, wait a second. That you know. So when your presence on screen was so powerful, but then it was just gone. They, the the powerful presence keep them. That's the stuff that I want is the power of presence and people that are passionate about it versus like, oh, I got to – I'm doing this film. You know, we got like – I mean King Batch, for example. People are like, why are you putting King Batch? And, you know, I'm like hey, King Batch, number one, is a cool dude. He's done 15 Netflix shows. He's got the world record most vines ever, and he's got 21 million followers on uh, Instagram. And he says, I just want to work with you all. I don't care about the money. Wow. Nice. So, uh, why not put him in there? <laughs> exactly. Agreed. Exactly. No, Agreed. no, you can't be in. Uh, you can't be in this. It's like, yeah, dude. It's you know, it's a mix. It's a whole. I gotta build a whole new universe. So there's no similarity clause, and there's not. It's that's, a whole new universe. That's so so smart. It's, it's like now is the time. Now yeah. is the time. People yeah. love their superheroes. Okay, next one. Super Dad, raise them up high. Star Raven, who is one of our members, yes. also. 
Uh, hey, Kat and Nakia, it's an honor to meet you, Jason. My question is, what is your favorite moment from Power Rangers? Uh, probably when I came on, right? When I joined the cast, that was probably the My favorite moment, moment is when <laughs> Kat was a cat. <laughs> when I that is when you came in. <laughs> well, I mean, you could feel the love, but you still, it was like, you know, it was like the, the, the shh, Saba thing. <laughs> no, but... Uh, no, I sure I, I, I did enjoy that. I, I tell you, as my character, just me as a person, as an actor, I wasn't used to having love relationships in movies. Like, you know, it wasn't it was embarrassing to, you know, <laughs> kiss, you know, all that stuff when when you know, it was with Amy. And then when you came, I was a pro. I was like, come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> you know, so I became a pro. But uh, but no, it was uh, definitely. It was, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but the favorite moment be out, outside of anything of like this character, that character is when I showed up to set, I was hired, you know, I was hired. Most people don't know this, but I was hired with Twee. Me and Twee auditioned oh, wow. at the same time. So a lot of people don't get it because they're like, you were added later, but the Yellow Ranger quit. So they had to hire a Yellow Ranger and a Green Ranger. So we were hired at the same time. So I was very eager to work. So I would show up. I wasn't in the episode. I'd watch. And the first day I showed up, I was on set and Walter and all this stuff, and I, I leaned on, like, you know, I, I, I leaned on something, and I, I went forward. Said, oh, man, like, what? And they said, that's on wheels. Don't touch that. So they would do, Chris, they would do turnarounds. Turn around. And if you know about industry, they'll just turn everything around, and you're so confused because <laughs> camera angles and all this stuff. And then, then I was intrigued by the buttons that didn't work. I was like, okay, well, you know, like, these buttons are just, like, hot glued. So I was really like, why are they just hot glue? They don't work, Jason. So I bust off buttons and try to put it back. You're was, breaking things all over the well, place. Well, I was just, yeah. It was like, look, a butterfly. That type of thing. So, and then the first time I showed up, the command center, green screen, Austin, Walter, everyone else, bright lights. And I'm like, Hi. that was a piece of tape for Zordon. Look right there. That's him. That's Zordon. And I was like, I don't even know what Zordon looks like. So I'm looking at the tape. And we never saw anything. I didn't right. see anything. I was looking at a tape and reacting. And it was very strange. But I was very, uh, it was a very, uh, a moment I'll always remember when someone said, hey, hit your mark. Remember, I'm coming from a karate school. I'm like a black belt. I'm telling people to do push-ups, sit-ups. Let's go. Let's go. And then I have a guy, random guy, say, hey, hit your mark. Stand on your mark. And at first I was like, <clears throat> Do what? Okay, yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. What's yeah, that? Different uh, world. Uh, all right. But I remember the command center on wheels, that's for sure. Yeah, that, that command center was pretty shoddy, right? It was a pretty yeah. shoddy mess. Um, Zeal, they built up Zeal a little bit better, though. They did. I yeah, we were like, this is actually work. Like, things didn't wobble when you walked on it. Remember <laughs> that thing used to shake when you'd walk on it? Wasn't that turp? Oh, that was Zio. Zio. That was Zio. Zio. Yeah. I was thinking it was Turbo. Okay. Yeah. Zio. yeah. Okay. All right. Another Super Chat. Super, super Chat. Raise him up high. Uh, Ninjetti Star 2K. Oh, my God. My three favorite heroes from GalaxyCon Rally are here. Aw. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. That was very sweet. Aw. I okay. think we got them all. No, we did no. not. No. Uh, you have to. Uh, yeah. Uh, I got to have... refresh. I got to refresh. <laughs> <laughs> This is exhausting. <laughs> this is a blessing. It is so, a blessing. It is. Um, this is our super chat from one of our team members. Oh. Just wants to say hello to Nisha Vasquez. To Nisha. Super chat. Oh, Raise oh, them up oh, high. Oh. She just wants to say hello. Oh. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. Another one here. Okay. El, you, now you get to say oh, his name. Uh, El the Sopredente name. Bloque. Yes. Oh, that was very good. Thank you. Very that good. accent was awful, but that's all right. Can you hear the guy in the other line? Can huh? you hear the guy in the other line? You can't. I You're probably like, that was pretty good. They're probably like, oh, they He's probably butchered. like, butchered. <laughs> butchered. Yes, they, know, they know we mess up all the time. Oh, my God. I says, really um, yeah, okay. that's what I was saying. I almost forgot if you come to Chile, I'd appreciate if you can bring the green or black ranger helmet. Whoa, let's back it up, Chile. <laughs> back, it up, back it up. 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 I will. I will. <laughs> ranger looks good. Why don't you? Okay. No, yeah. I'll try to bring what I can. Oh, Perfect. All right. Next one. Um. Okay, uh, Kenny Shibata, Super Chat, Raise Bring my pie. Let me see if Are I can. Are you going pull. back to Des Moines, Iowa, Jason? For, uh, for me? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be going. Look, when all this stuff's over, I, I think a lot of people, 
you know, need their mental source. And I, as you girls know right now, this is Power Rangers is a big mental block in the movement for people. And I think there's, we're going to be like, we, we're probably, we'll get there eventually, but there's going to be a lot of, I think, not just need to see, but mental, uh, positive people like you. I think it's going to be one of those things. So I'm sure we'll be everywhere. Yes. It's just a matter of, you know, safely and when and, you know, everyone comfortable and stuff like that. So yes. I'm sure I'll be there yes. someday. Hey, right. Red Buick, which is our lovely Nate, Nate from New York. Yes, you know him. Super, Super Chad. Raise him up high. You know him. What's he, up, Nate? I know Nate, too. Know what him. up? Yes. His, he says, three of my favorites. Thank you, oh, Nate. Thank, thank you, guys. Um, Nate's a loyal fan. He's been, I think he was with me when I had, like, 10,000 followers or something like that. He's an amazing fan. He is, he is on it, like, you know, if anybody calls anybody out of name, some people are not fond of interracial relationships. People know that yeah. my husband is not African-American. He was one yeah. of the first people to just, like, put oh. somebody in check yeah. real quick yeah. on oh. my page. Don't mess with him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I love just it. love, I love I, his support. Yes. Big support. And he's, and that's what I'm saying is just not, not, you know, of course we don't want, I don't want fans to go out of their way and cause problems because there's 86,400 seconds a day. Enjoy, but... Definitely, I love someone that could say, hey, let me put you in check. It doesn't matter about this, and it doesn't matter about that. This is yeah. the way I feel and they feel. I love that. There's a lot of fans that, you know, are just really quiet about stuff, and that's fine. I, I, I appreciate that, but Nate does. So, Nate, but don't go out there and cause things. You, you, there's a, it, Nate will be too busy calling people out all day long, so we appreciate just a little bit of Nate to stick up. <laughs> no, for real, stick I, up. I, and, I and like that, a little bit of Nate. Just for. a little bit. <laughs> Okay, uh, Super Chad, raise my pie. One of our members, Kenny Shibata. I want to know what is your what is your favorite Ranger have you that you've ever played? Green, white, red, Zia, red turbo, or black Dino Thunder? Mm, well, I mean, uh, the favorite. I enjoyed doing. I enjoyed, and I'll tell you why. The the, the, the superpower beatdown helmet, right? And this is, and the reason why I say I enjoyed this one is because Aaron had this idea like let me revamp this helmet yeah and let me put all these colors and i was like i don't think that's such a good idea buddy like i wouldn't be missing with any colors on any helmets because we got hardcore fans but he actually did a really good job and and as you guys see everybody dressing up as like the superpower beatdown costume so he did a really good job on it yeah, and yeah. The costume in it felt so much more sturdy and comfortable in that superpower beatdown costume yeah i mean it really was i'm not just saying like I felt tough. Yes, the things break. <laughs> one, yeah, popped. You know, like most suits were like, punch, uh, cut, Velcro it, take it real quick. We won't see it. <laughs> tape it up. Okay, and action. Yeah, I mean, literally, you guys know how it is. And, uh, but, uh, but this suit was pretty, this suit, suit was pretty sturdy. Yeah. All right, next question. Super Chat. Raven Raven up high. Star Raven. Why don't you read this one? Okay. Uh, where are we? Oh, just... Bye, girls. I'm heading back to work again. It's nice to to meet you, Jason. Take care. Thank, Thank you, Star. You. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Okay. Okay, next question. Uh, Super Chat. Raise them up high. The Willmeister. I have sickle cell anemia, among other things. I just want to thank you all, especially JDF, for being like the Undertaker, Stone Cold, or Superman. A childhood hero who makes the pain go away with three simple words, if only for a brief few seconds. Oh, that's deep. That's really deep. That is really deep. That's what you, you hear do stuff for like people. that. It does. It, it does. It does move you, man. Sometimes I do hear things, and I'm like, oh, I've gotta be tough. <clears throat> gotta be tough. Yeah, but that, that means a lot. I tell you, there's. It's so great, our fans to go out of their way. And say something so good and positive. Like if you're in a restaurant and you ask for a manager, people are like, is everything okay? You're like, yeah, yeah, just I need a manager. And the manager comes and you go, that waitress was the best waitress I ever had. Thank you. And the manager goes like, don't waste my time. I got too many. But that's the stuff we like to hear. So thank you for saying that. That It moves all of us, man. It makes us, yes. it makes, as you girls know, the blessings. If you can bless one person, mm -hmm. myself, including just because mentally you've done your job. That's why it is. It is great to see people ask questions, but hearing things like that, it does. It's it's, it's an impact it on everyone. Oh, it does. And, um, I know. And so. I, I remember when I first joined the show, Jay, and, and we had the Make-A-Wish kids come. And before I was like 
part of the cast and I would watch you guys and you were always so wonderful with the kids and I appreciated that because not all of the cast were always giving their time like you did, yeah. but you would always give your time. And, and, it's, and that's well, thank you. The same thing with you girls. I get asked all the time, all the time at cons. I'm like, look, these girls like really sincerely listen. They care. And I'm like that. I, I go back with kids. That's why, I, that's why I think in this convention, I love because the, they're 30 year olds, but to me, they're still little kids. Yeah. You know, they be like, Oh my God. Like, Hey, do you remember this? And you're like, yeah, I don't quite remember that Zord, but I don't really <laughs> want to like hurt his feelings. And I go, yeah. You know, because we're in it. That's what I think people are like. Oh, cat, we don't know what Zord's like. We're in it. We're making it. So when you're in it, sometimes you don't look on the outside. Yes. You know what I mean? And um, so, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, I, I, I love it. I love people. That's why I grew my schools. I'll take time with people and you will, and you'll take time with that right person. Like, like just blessing someone, the blessings will come. Yes. I, you know what I, mean? I want to and, respond to this one too, because uh, first of all, thank you for your, your large contribution because that was very, very sweet. I actually have sickle cell. I have the sickle cell trait. I don't have the, the, um, uh, sickle cell anemia. So I, I was always told growing up that if I ever married someone with this, with this, the trait, you know, yeah. our, and we had children, they would end up having sickle cell anemia. But wow. because I am in remission on an autoimmune disease, um, I, I feel your pain and in, in some, in, in some way, state or, uh, state or form. So I just wanted to encourage you and just thank you so much for even uh, taking the time to write us and to look up to, to our characters. And I know that, um, JDF is, is your favorite and he's, he's such an awesome person. He really is. He really gives back and, and we just appreciate you looking up to power Rangers and may God bless you truly and, and bless your health. Will mm -hmm. Meister. Thank you, Will Meister. <laughs> oh. Good to see charity. It really is. Like, I look at you girls, and I think I see you, you guys totally embrace not who we are. That's what people always say. Oh, you get tired. We embrace the people. We embrace the, you know, uh, uh, the emotions. And em emotions, for me, is a universal language. You, you don't, you know, you could live in India. You could live wherever you want around the world. It's the, it's the, it's the, the language is universal because we feel emotion you don't need to understand them when they come to your table and they're like you know it's it's the emotions is what we feel and i always look at that that you guys take your time not to embrace of who we are people like hey jdf are you always afraid that you're going to be stereotyped as the green ranger i'm like you know what it's not about stereotype as a green ranger it's about making a uh you know building this huge uh universe to bless people yeah if i'm yeah. stuck if this is what i am for my whole life and people can say i looked up to you you changed my life then that's, that's what it'll amazing. be if that's yeah. what calling and that's what i am but at least i'm pretty happy and proud of who we are yeah. but now this this taking time with people yeah going on the internet everybody. moving people yeah. that really makes a difference and i look at you girls all the time and i you know there's always you guys are always sincere, and of course, it's work when we work on Power Rangers, and it wasn't always, you know, Angel Grove all the time, but <laughs> but it's sure, it sure great to see that outside of, look what's behind you. You got, you know, pictures, you got, you're embracing this, not Power Rangers, you're embracing human connection. Yes. Which, you know, which it, it's, it's, it's great to see that. Most people don't take the time. Mm. They don't. At cons, you guys take your time with people. Thank you. Thank you. I want it. I want to let you know because I don't know how much time you have. Yeah, there no, it's fine. are a lot more questions for you. <laughs> go. I'm gonna plug my phone in, but let's do it. Let me plug in. Okay. My, um, plug in my then you have right. for like 15. Minutes, yeah, so. I've got to take my son to swim. I might have to leave and come back. <laughs> okay. Let me just plug it in. Oh. We're trying to get to all of you. We really are. Well, I just talk so I talk too much, but let's go. I got oh, it. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Okay. Super chat. Raise my pie. Hi, Michael. Michael. Eddie. So Michael. Michael. Eddie. That's what so long as your dance. You like that, <laughs> don't you? I do. We'll do it for you live. Don't worry about it. <laughs> dance. I'd be doing it all the time. Just saying hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Super hi. Chat. Hi. Super <laughs> chat. Hi. Stop. Hi, Jason. Good. Thank you for being a part of the show. I was a bully as a kid and watching the Green Ranger when they saved our... Sorry. I was a bully as a kid and watching the Green Ranger when they saved your character and welcomed you into the team hit me hard and set me straight. Wow. Wow. Yeah, See? Hi. That's deep, Jay. It is deep. Wow. That's uh, 
I've probably never heard that before. Me and I'll either. tell you why I give you credit for saying that is you recognizing who you were and where you were going to go. But you had enough ego to say on this channel with all three of us, hey, I was a bully wow. and I changed. You changed my life. That takes a lot to admit something. So you let the ego go. You, 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 <clears throat> that's great to hear. I've never heard that because most people want to be like, Hey, I was, so I'm glad you didn't bully anyone. So that tells me that number one, being bullied, Power Ranger could save your life when you were bullied. And number two, you being a bully, we actually stopped you from being a bully. That's something I learned on this. That probably the reason why, honestly, this happened for me. Because I've done martial arts. I've never heard that before. So thank you for listening to the message and not hurting other people. But you bullied me. How do we answer that? <laughs> well, because we're men. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're It was all love. <laughs> all right. It was all love. Very. Super, Super chat. <laughs> Raise them up high. <laughs> Very is one of our awesome members as well. And thank you for, for your contribution. You guys are... All of you guys with these super chats, just amazing. Thank, thank you. you so much for contributing to our channel. Yes, thank you. Um, hi, ladies and, and JDF. Thank you for my signed autograph and shout out. You have been my husband. <laughs> you have been my husband for years in my head. <laughs> Laugh out loud. I will melt if I ever meet you. Aww. Oh, Barry. My question is, with the PPP plan, do you ever plan on doing anything in uh, Virginia? Virginia. I, I honestly, I know promoters are probably watching. <clears throat> I'm probably going to end up doing the PPP program for a very long time, to be honest, outside of it. I think it's good. It's healthy for me. It has nothing to do with anything else. It's It, it just makes sense. I get to spend time. So it, I'm definitely going to be moving in those areas when uh, when things calm down. I don't, I don't want to jump into an area and, and just, you know, when things calm down, at least for me. But, yeah, I'll definitely go. So the PPP program for me is gonna is, is gonna continue gonna because I, I see a, a side that I normally don't see I, I hear from the comic owners that say oh my god I always want to meet you guys and you guys and the girls but I can't afford to go and I'm like to go he goes no no I can go I just want to bring my business my business can't afford to be in there the tables are too much I won't make the money so that's what I'm like well maybe bring a comic con to their small shop that really needs the help yeah and, and it doesn't matter small or big i'm doing a thing now i hit dallas and everyone's like come back come back i'm like oh my god guys i was in dallas like three times already so i stopped by shop so what i'm gonna do is equalize every ticket's gonna be the same i don't care if it's 50 if i go to dallas again it's gonna be 50 tickets 50 tickets just tickets to meet 50 and 50 no matter how big or how small the shop is right so that way i can keep it even and do and help the little shops where actually the big shops will be the same, but it's all even across the board. Yeah. And I think that, that's going to be really good. Hundreds guys, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for your comic books and comic shops, we all three would not be doing comic cons. So, yeah. It's based off the book owners. Yeah. That's it is. Yeah. That's why comic con. So I'll be, I'll be coming over there. It's just a matter. There's, there's so many comic shops. I tell you, I, I posted a day and I, I have people asking for help and I'm a sucker for that. I'm like, I'm going to help you. You get in line. I'm going to help you. But it's actually also helping me mentally and it's helping everybody. So the word help is like, I'm not just doing it for them. I'm doing it for everybody. I think it's one of those things where, you know, uh, it's, it's, I'll get there eventually, but that's why I want you girls to also join because the power ranger protection program is deeper than just one. We're, we're not the power rangers of just me. It's <laughs> the, the program. I could, I've been so many ranges. I could build my own team. Yes, you could. You've been five. So, yes. Yeah, which team would you like? Well, I'd say the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, the Red Field, the Red Turbo, Black Dino, the Sporting Board, Draken in there. No, but there are. The, we'll, we'll, the we'll get there. It's, uh, uh, it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be really fun. Hey, uh, uh, Chad, raise my pie. Grant Martinez says, "I love Dino Thunder. How Tommy became a teacher." Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Next one is Super Chad. Raise my pie. Hi. I did that one on my own. Woo did. Woo <laughs> <laughs> right. I like this. So that was fun. <laughs> Skyhound. Sky Between the fights from the TV show and the first MMPR film, which ones took the most time to work on? The movie, for sure, because the suits were 50 pounds. Oh, so wow. the movie was... It was film. All those people that don't know out there, film was really expensive, 35 millimeter 
movies, the TV show, as you girls know, went like that. We could shoot a uh, fight scene, scenes, all of a sudden, one episode in like two days, we're done. Wow. So yeah, it was like the movie took a long time, but fights in, in the TV show, there was a famous thing where they say, if you're seeing that, you're seeing the world, Chris used to say, because <laughs> I used to try to make sense of it. Um, we were actually facing this way. Jason, if you're seeing that, you're seeing the world. Hit your mark. And sure enough, Power Ranger magic happened where you just watched it and it's like, I guess it works. It worked. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it sure did. Uh, Sit up, Chad. Raise them up high. One of our new Patreon mem Timothy members. Timothy Pace. Yes. Thank, thank you, Timothy. You. He didn't have a question. He's just saying hello. Uh, Timothy at the last Power Ranger protection program. <laughs> he made, made a Legend of oh, the White Dragon. Chains, all that stuff. So I bought him a, a little Tiger Zord that he wanted. I didn't know he wanted. Aww. It was his birthday. Love Timothy. Big supporter of even even uh, Power Rangers and all. So Timothy, thank you again. And I tell him he never has to, but he always does that. He supports the movies. He does the cameos. And wow. Timmy got the last Pace. show. Timothy uh, Pace. Did, yeah, he did a good job. Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he's. You guys don't even. Know, I don't have him. But you guys don't understand. I know you guys have to go, but you guys, I don't, I don't have it on me right now because I was doing show. But like making necklaces, like really good keychains that were like, hey, the first 50 people get them for free. Handmade it, him and his wife, before the day of the show. Wow. So it, well, you, yeah, well, well, Timothy, we want to see you work. Yes. He so, yeah. just so became Timothy, one of our for, Patreon members. Right. So, yeah. So happy and about that. Good loyal, you'd be a good loyal, and he won't take your time. That's what's a good thing about when you see Timothy, you're like, wow, this is a guy that never oversteps his boundaries. He gives. That's why no. I bought a toy. I, I did this. I thought the shop was they were selling for like 200, which I can get those toys for nothing. But I'm not boosting and shouting. I'm just saying you like those toys, and I'm at 200. I bought it. I signed it for him, and it's not for anything else, Timothy, except that I didn't know you really wanted that toy. So. You, you helped so much, so I got him a toy and signed it for him. And and he does things like this. You see, he's a member now. Yeah. He's not blowing up my phone, going, "Hey, hook me up with the girls." He's respectful. Right. Right. So it's a good guy. Absolutely. Thank That's you. awesome. Thank you, Timothy. Uh, Super yep. chat. Raise him up high. Come on. There we go. Great good job. Raise him up. <laughs> Matthias Rodriguez. Hello, JDF Cat Nakia. We love. We are from Morphin Poster Gem. Gem. Mosta. Morphin, Mor <laughs> Morphin Postagem. Thank you. <laughs> Group from Brazil. Brazil. Oh, send us a means a lot. Thank you, my heroes. Aww. Hi. Hi from uh, Hi Morphin Postagem. Morphin Postagem. Morph Morphin Postagem. Yes. There we go. You Morphin Post Morphin Post Postagem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Super Chat, Chat. Raise Raise up high. Uh, Captain Comedy, one of our members. One of our members. Name's Shaquille. Be making a cameo with you, JDF. I'll, I'll be making a cameo. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be. be. Okay. I'll be making a cameo with you, JDF, and you're my inspiration to become an actor and hopefully future Red Ranger. Hopefully, I can act with you. With you. Yeah. Hey, hey, there's a lot of people that definitely can. There can. And the cameo, I keep thinking of movie, right? It's a cameo. But okay. yeah, that's awesome. Yes. Man. Okay. Awesome. Super chat. Raise them up high. Hey. Raise them up high. I'm ready to say Raise them up high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can do the super chat. Super chat. Okay. Super chat. Raise them up high. You went super chat. Raise them up high. You shortcut it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You're right. I did. did. Like super cat. Raise them high. And then you blame her. He said raise super cat. 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 Oh. <laughs> Anime freak. Any any way I can get JDF to be my best man or you ladies to come to my wedding next month, October 25th in Gulfport, Mississippi. That's oh. the day after my birthday. Yes. And that's four people days. People be there in theory. In theory. In theory. Because I get yes. that's just a lot. I really, I wish we could have the time to do stuff like that, but we will be there and we will be there in, in spirits, my yes, friend. Yes, and we sure. love. <laughs> okay, All right, super, super chat. chat. Raise them up high. high. <laughs> is it just one super chat or is it super chat? Just super one, chat? just one. Super, super chat, chat, raise them up high. Oh, I thought go. as you got shorter, it's like super chat, raise them up. Before it was like, <laughs> super chat, super chat, raise them up high. <laughs> 
uh, raisin pie, yes? <laughs> <laughs> because we're trying to get we're through trying to get all the questions. But they keep coming. Uh, yeah. Like, they just, you are, you, and yeah. Kat's going to have to go drop off Calum and, and come back. back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right. Huge fan, oh, Bond Ranger is the, the person asking. Huge fan, um, Nakia, what's it like to sing in an episode of Another Song and Dance? Oh, would you guys like to give us a little rendition of, of a song and dance? Oh, <laughs> this man, was on the set. He was like, I can't do it. I can't well, do it. Well, you like, know why, though? Because my, my Oma and Opa, they were opera singers. Yes. And, uh, my Opa was an opera singer, a professional opera singer, and but but he passed away way back then, so I was like, oh, Oma's going to see this. So, But uh, my grandma... <laughs> She lived till she was 93, so she passed away. So did she's you, not going to see this. Oh, I can sing now. <laughs> oh, it's morphin' time. Oh. I just saw that. Yeah. Let's stop this crime. It's morphin' time. It's morphin' time. <laughs> Yay! Oma, Oma would be proud. Yes! Oma would, Oma would be proud. I should have done <laughs> that it. That was Darn great. I that was good. You know, people have been trying to get us to do that. I, I'm asked uh, that all the time. So that is just a winner. Go. I'm going to have to take that clip and just post it everywhere. <laughs> I, I actually liked it. I, I know. I, I liked it. Well, that was my now. Zio was like, episode. Oh, I love it. Everything episode. was in That was cool, though. And your little we, pony we tail? just on that. <laughs> Remember your little ponytail like, they're going like flying. this? Wait, what did you say? Oh yeah, with these ponytails. They shoot the whole episode on that. Just pick out the favorite lines, and they'll just be like, "Super sad, super sad, save this line." Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got to watch the whole episode. That'd be kind of cool. That's cool. Okay, okay, Timothy again. Thank you, Timothy. Super, super chat. chat. Raise my pie. Hi. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thanks. Again, uh, Shaquille, again, on my birthday, I'll be making a cameo with you on my birthday on the 28th of December. You were awesome as the Red Turbo Ranger and the White Ranger. You're the best, JDF. Oh, uh, well, happy birthday, happy birthday, buddy. Happy, happy 28th birthday. birthday. Yay. Yes. Super Turbo. dad, raise him up high. Dave. That was for, for him because we didn't do one for huh? our ex. We didn't do one for oh, Captain. Oh, we'll do one. Super, Super dad, dad, raise him up high. high. Shaquille. And then for and Dave. Then Dave. Dave Clavy. Do you know Dave from Legendary Props, Jay? Uh, yes. Yes. Keep on Young. rocking it, ladies. Stay safe and healthy. Oh, thank Thanks, you, Dave. Dave. Mwah. Mwah. Um, super chat. Raise up high. high. Scott Bickleeky. Hey, hey, did he say save? Did he say me be healthy too? No. Mm -mm. He doesn't care. No, he said you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Raise him up high. <laughs> Um, Scott Bickleeky, this question is from Kirsty, his wife. JDF, the scene in the Turbo movie when Tommy rescued Kat from the rapids on the river, was it fun going down the water? <laughs> oh, oh God. my gosh. That was, that was a story. Bottom line is, I probably should have used a stunt guy, <laughs> but I didn't. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was my first experience in the rapids. And it was incredible. very cold, but it was actually pretty where we filmed. It was. You were never, was it Tennessee or where was it? That was in Northern California, but we did the cliff scene was in Tennessee, but that uh, was Northern California. Remember they had the jacuzzi uh, together. Like, yeah. I want to do this. I want to be, I want to do this myself. And I was like, yeah. okay, I'll be in the jacuzzi. <laughs> you enjoy yeah, yourself. That, that director did say this. He's like, right before I was going, I was trying to be a big shot. And he goes, okay, so you know the scene, right? All right. You hit this mark. You hit that mark. You go underwater. Make sure you keep your hands and feet in because you don't want to get caught in a rock. And then we'll throw a safety line across and grab, <laughs> pull you out, just like that. And I went, okay. I got. That. And he said, action. And in my head, I was like, I didn't know what was going on. I just remember <laughs> grabbing the line, and then I came out. And the director, that was actually really good. You know, you hit all your marks, and I went. <laughs> Fake I did. You I made it. Off. I played it off twice. I was like, yeah, cool. So <laughs> Even though I was freezing cold and I was looking at all the hot tubs, I was like, but I would never show it. I was like, yeah, cool. You want me to do it again? No? <laughs> I'm glad that you didn't ask to do the cliff dive. Then I would have had to step in, I think. I, I, I probably would have just asked to see a reaction for them to say no. If I was said, let me do the cliff dive. And if they said, okay, I would have been like, oh, all right, well, I'm doing it. Okay, good. <laughs> Something might happen to me. You want to stop me? No. <laughs> I would want them just to be like, movie. no, don't do it. No, they didn't. Yeah, I don't but think I that guy had to step good. in. <laughs> it, looked like, it looked like I did, but that was a long dive. I probably would have like just 
you know, backflopped. Yeah, but, and he only did it twice, remember? That was pretty crazy. Yeah, it's like, he, he just went straight down and kept right. his body. I probably put a, it would have been bad. Yeah, it would have been <laughs> over. Wrap. <laughs> Wrap. That's a wrap. All right. Okay. Super Chad, raise my pie. Hey, Jason and the girls, too. We are from Morphin Poster Gym. <laughs> Poster Gym. Group. Morphin Poster Gym. Love you so much. Thank Please you. Please send love to us in Brazil. Thank you, Matthias Rodriguez. Now listen, I have to tell you, I've got to take my son to swim right now. So I'm going to leave you with Nakia, but I'll be back. You're going to leave me. I've been gone for about 10 minutes. Super swim, super swim. Super chat, super chat, super chat. Raise them up high. All right. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> She'll be back, guys. This is this is a, uh, a doozy. So I'll be she can't hear me, right. She can't hear me. Thank God she is gone. <laughs> Shut up. I, I can hear everything. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> Jay, thank you so much for for staying so long. And uh, this oh. is this is also just a, a sediment to to everybody to know uh, how dedicated he is to his fans. We told him. From the beginning that he had a lot of, we had a lot of pre, already pre-sold, not pre-sold. Lies. But um, yeah, I'm lying. I'm waiting for her to get it. Go, go swim. <laughs> we had, um, we had a lot of uh, super chats that had come in starting last night. So we keep having them come in. And thank you so much for taking the time to do oh, this. you're welcome. So, I told you, you said on the phone, how long? Is it five hours? So yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to try not to do the five <laughs> hours. I don't see. know if she, if she was serious. I, I think she was. So I said, yeah. So I just prepared myself for five hours. <laughs> well, thank you. So You did. You were real. You're like five hours. And I said, yeah. And I told Nicole, do you, you think she really needs me for five hours? She's like, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think so. Maybe she said that. So I'm good for five hours. So oh. I'm mentally prepared. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so I'm scrolling through and we have, we have, uh, these are just our super chats. So just, okay. just un understand that. In, in between all of this, we have other a whole bunch yeah. of other chats that are going, but we're just hitting the super chats right now. So this is from Dunamis Prime. Super chat. Now you have to do it with me. Super yeah, chat. Raise above high. <laughs> Dunamis Prime says, what is it like working with some Canadian Rangers in Dino Thunder? Kevin, Dunahy, Jeff, and one more episode. And one episode, Georgito Vargas. I, I actually really enjoyed the cast of Dino Thunder, <clears throat> and but I know the reason why is when I went back, everybody was like, oh, man, you heard, you know, Tommy, they call me Tommy. Tommy's coming back after all these years. So everybody was like, they were fans. Kevin, those kids were young, so they watched Power Rangers. So I'd never done a, you know, us, we kind of, we were working. We didn't, we weren't fans of the show. We yeah. just created the show. So they were fans. So working with those guys, really great. Kevin, the Red Ranger, uh, or um, James, the Red Ranger, I don't know what he's doing. I heard he's directing. I think it'd be great for him to come out, uh, you know, and connect with some fans. He's very talented. Emma, too. It was, it was great. I really enjoyed that cast, but I was the mentor. So maybe that's why, you know, even being a mentor, I still was probably the most immature person on set, to be honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you like even, to have fun, which is good, which is yeah, good. You need it to was, have fun on set. It can't always be about method acting or always being in character all the time or always serious because that makes it, makes it very difficult. It could, it could yeah. make it very difficult on set. So. Sure. All right. Chad, Chad Wilson is one of our members as well. Super Chad, raise them up. <laughs> Chad says, JDF, you've been such a positive influence on my life since I was four, and I want to say thank you. I'm turning 30 on September 19th. Could I get an early birthday shout out? Would mean the world to me. Well, hey, the first name again was? Uh, Chad Wilson. Chad Wilson? Chad Wilson. Chad, I was like, Chad Wilson, hey. Okay, Chad Wilson, it is Jason David Frank. I wanted to wish you happy birthday. I know you're watching now, but happy 30th birthday. I was 30 when I started Dino Thunder. So anyway, wanted to send you love and tell you Morphin time and Dino Thunder. Since I started thirty, this is uh, this is my helmet. Nice. Yes. Aw, thank you, Chad. Font. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a random. I, I... He sent me one too as a joke. <laughs> I, I know I got one too. So he, but it, it tore open when I ripped. So it was ripped. So I kind of like you know, I don't wrote what he what he wrote, but I just you know yeah, <laughs> it's on my table. Anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, uh, Leonard Granti. Super Chad, raise him up high. All right, Leonardi says, October 5th, 2018, New York Comic Con. Probably won't remember me, but I was the vision impairment man in red crying my eyes out. I want to say thank you for my first experience with a celebrity actor. Oh, thank you. Did I say at that time, did I tell you happy tears? Because there was times where people were crying and I wanted to make sure I said happy tears because when they walked away, I didn't want people to think I made them cry. So <laughs> as long as they were happy tears, I have a point of saying that now. Even when they walk out the door, I go, look here in front of everyone, the six to ten people, happy tears. <laughs> I don't want them to walk out thinking like, oh, my God, what did JDF say to him? So happy tears are always a good thing. So it was a blessing to, uh, to meet you. Aww. You know, your Comic Con is is an amazing con. You know, I've only done it one time. I've, how many times have you done New York Comic Con? I'll tell you, New York Comic Con. That's how my very first. <clears throat> that's how I started. I, 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 New York Comic Con was huge. I wanted to get in. They didn't allow me any time. I said, "Can I just please get an hour?" Like begging my way in. Like I just, I'll pay my own way. I spent like three, four grand going there, and you know, everyone and other people. Are like I don't know if it's a good idea. I said, I'm just gonna go. They said there's a lot of celebrities. You're probably not gonna have a line, so they were preparing me for failure. <laughs> and so I got a hotel. You know, I spent money at that time going and. And they said, you have one hour. And I never forget that they put Jason David Frank. And it was the only time I called and said, hey, can you just cross that off and just put the Green Ranger? They said, we can't. We just got to put your name. And I said, ah, can you put Tommy the Green Ranger? They said, no, we're putting Jason David Frank. And at that time, I didn't think my name would even draw in the, you know, I was already told no and no. So they gave me one hour. That's it. And so when I showed up, I walked down this long hall and it was just, it was like stab in the heart, like, oh, everyone was right. Oh, my God. Like, I'm a walk up to, oh, this is so embarrassing. Like, I walk up. I said, okay, man, I know we're here for an hour. So uh, I know there's not a line. So what do you want me to do? I said, no, no, that, that's your line over there. And then all these people started screaming. A six-hour long line oh at New York God. Comic Con where it was unbelievable. It was my first experience of those big cons. And they're like, sir, you got about six or seven hours. And the promoter said, we only give you one. And when they tried capping it off, I said, I'm staying. I don't know what to tell you. So the girl, they were just mind blown. Everybody who was there was like, who is this guy? And it felt so happy because it, I walked line and it was, and because right when they said no more, they cut off, people were crying, like not happy tears. Like, oh man, are you kidding me? So they were like, we don't know what to do. Let's just let this guy keep signing. So that's what happened. That was my first experience. So I did it three years in a row and it got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger in New York. For Power Ranger fans, hands down, is like Texas. So I agree. It's just, I agree. It's like, so it's a good That's thing. It, it, you know, but again, you know, it's a you know, I know a lot of people that have great toy shops, com comic shops there. You'd probably go there and and bless people's days because some don't have to pay cover to get in. Mm -hmm. Cover costs sometimes they cut it off, they don't. So when I do these PPP programs and you show up in a New York one of one of my guys new york toy shops you'll have more people because it's going to save cover charge to get into a con plus it's a sold out con so when it's sold out i can't mean the key i want i want to meet you but i can't because it's sold out yeah that's why the program works so well is because it, it just allows people freedom and and i don't know what's going to happen at this time with cons but it is a big con you will get lost to your tables but that was the first con that blessed me and from that day on i never forget the business cards I got handed to me. Hey, business card. And that's when I got Wizard World's business card handed to me. I love Courtney. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have done any Wizard Worlds. According to Wizard World, I canceled two shows that I never booked. So it was someone that said, Jason's showing up and they advertised me. I didn't know what Comic Cons were. So they're like, this guy's a flake. And I said, what do you mean? And they said, you booked two times with us in two years in a row. I said, it wasn't me. So I had to clear my reputation back. And since then, then I was on, then I was on tour. So anyway, New York's great. New York fans, Texas fans. So it's a, it's a really overwhelming thing. So when people tell you you're never going to do good, it really gets in your head. So that, that was that time where I was like, oh my God, they're right. They're right. And they're right. They're right. And then they were wrong. All these people. And that's what opened the gates for people. And then they were like, yeah, we'd love to put the Green Ranger. And now I'm like, okay, you can just put Jason David Frank. <laughs> 
you know. You know what? I but have to say. I wanted to say that. I wanted to just just say the Green Ranger at that time, but they wouldn't. It was you think it would be opposite. Jason David Frank eight years ago, people would read and go, "Who's this guy?" You think you would want to read Tommy the Green Ranger at a at a convention, you know, just the Green Ranger, but it was opposite. They didn't do that. I don't know why, but it still turned out to but be a blessing. Turned, I remember you, that. You didn't think that people were going to, but this is this is a, an amazing point to be made. You took a chance. You took, yeah. and that's that's what I try to encourage people to do, and I know that you do as well. That if you would have never taken that chance, and and yeah. the possibility, you know, there was a possibility that you might feel completely humiliated, that nobody was going to yeah. show up. But you took yeah. that chance, and that's what I encourage everybody that's watching. If you have a dream, you have a goal, you cannot yeah. sit back and say, "Oh, I wish I could do that," or "I wish I could do that." Take that first step forward and go for yeah. it. And if it fizzles, doesn't matter. Go try yeah. something else. Yeah. Go to the next, you know? Yeah. Just keep moving forward. It's so important. Yeah. Kudos and to like, you. So we wouldn't be here if Heim got turned down eight times. Eight times. And I don't think a lot of viewers even know this, which you probably don't. I just found out. When they bought the show, I was hired. When I was coming on to set, that show was already canceled. They canceled 40 episodes. So when we were working, they never told us the network canceled your show. We were working on a show that was canceled, but they only gave us three time slots. And they told Heim, if these three time slots go, we're not buying the rest of your episodes. So technically, you got three episodes that we bought from you. Yeah, but 40, it's canceled. So they canceled it. And once the ratings started going up, then they then it started going up it, it, huge. And then Fox said, we want to we want to buy your show. And Heim ended up walking out of the meeting owning Fox. That's Mind blowing. Crazy. No, I had no idea. It's, yeah. it's all so, about taking chances, guys. It's all about taking yep. chances. Um, and I guess investing in yourself. And I know I got more things, but right, you invest in yourself. Like your show is really good. I think you're, and I told Nicole, I'll tell you this, you're so, uh, you know, I know I'm, I'm here for you whenever, but producing, organizing, your your business, your everything. You know, if it's hey Jason to like, okay, now we got a show, bud, we're gonna call you ten minutes before, and then I'm like, okay, now she's whooping into this is what I do on a business, and and so you have this you unique personal and business, but you you people trust you, and I think that's what here your fans do. Like I said, they trust you and Cat to deliver good content and sincere. You know. Uh, like what you're doing here. And I think that's what's important. And so you have that very unique, uh, and that's why I'd love to, and I, I tell Nicole, I'd love to hire, I don't care. You're a great actor. It's really good. Like, you know, people don't see Tam. No one's ever seen, like they don't watch Power Rangers, but when they saw you on the, just that one scene, they were like, oh, she's a good actress. Like, because you got, you have it. But as far as a producer too, I definitely would love to work with you because you can organize and it's just a very unique thing. So anyway, oh, we can move on. Next, thank right? you, Jay. You ah, love you. Okay, next question. Super chat. Raise them up high. Um, this is Shaquille again. Shaquille says, hey, JDF, do you know when the White Dragon movie will be available to watch? And will I be able to buy it on the Samsung store? I've got a Galaxy S9. Um, well, you know, we're filming uh, during all the what's going on. We're slate to film October, November. We do, we will get it done. I don't know ex exactly where where it's going, but I do know it's going to head for big things. Um, and as far as Samsung and Apple, it's very confusing. But I just released a video game that you can get on Apple and Samsung. It's just a JDF game. I did it. The team's worked on it for three years. He just inboxed me last night and said, "Man." Uh, you know, cause there's a few, few glitches on the game. You know, it's not, it's not the perfect game in the world, but they did an amazing job. So we're extending the video game and doing all this other stuff. So that's available on Apple and Android. Uh, uh, as far as the movie, I'm pretty sure that's when somebody as a producer or someone like Nikia that will work on it for those kind of answers. I feel like I'm the actor. I can do the, 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 the branding, the promotion, but that's a whole nother side that I, I don't know about yet at this point, but I'm sure it'll be available. Everywhere. I am available to help out in any way that you, that you want. You know, I, okay. I think you're uh, an amazing businessman. I know we're sitting here talking about giving accolades to one another, but we've grown. So, I mean, in knowing you over 25 years since Power Rangers, um, I just see the, um, 
I see the chances that you take and yeah. I see the, the, the fact that you talked about not doing comic cons anymore. I completely get it. You've paved yeah. this way. This is your thing. Yeah. PPP is your thing. Why do you have to, to, you know, accommodate somebody else's comic con? And I own a comic con. I mean, so do you. Yeah. So yeah. I, I get it. Whatever is going to work out the best. That's a business mind. That's what, that's yeah. what's, what's happening. We still have, <laughs> But I still want to. I still want to go to your go to your 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 con and stuff. But and I show people this. I know we got questions on here. But this this tattoo right here is like a. It's a gambling. You know, it's like it's hard to see because I've been in the sun. But it's it's a Vegas theme, and and everyone always says, "Hey, man, you play, are you a gambler? I'm not a gambler. I don't I don't like losing money. But I will tell you that I think a risk in life is what you need to take risks, and then and then try again and try again. So yeah, and I think when you say take chances. The people that truly believe in themselves, not your mom, not your dad, not your your significant other, you, when you truly believe in yourself and you take the chance in your investment into yourself, you will rise. Yeah. You will, like you like you say with your shows, you know, the Comic Cons, you know, I paid eight, uh, eight to nine shows every time I paid my own way at Wizard World. People would look otherwise and they look at JDF getting this. I paid my hotels. I paid my air flights. People don't know that. And I would never tell them at the time because it was like, oh, they're bringing. I was like, hey, can I go? Hey, can I go? Well, you buy your own way. So I did that until I started having all these people. And I told John, John, is it time so I can get a flight? Yeah, you can get an economy flight. Cool. Time and time. T John, is it time where I can get first class or you need to be first class? I do because I'm doing 40 shows. I need to be the first one on. I need to be the first one off. It has nothing to do with. You know, hey, I'm first class. I want to be first in and first out. I got shows to do. So that's how that started coming. So yeah, you've got to invest in yourself because you are you supposed to be your biggest fan, not arrogant, not cocky, confident. Yeah. Just confident in what you do and back your stuff because you truly can. I'm telling you, and I, I no other reason to say that. When I saw your class dismissed and all the other stuff, I said, man, and I started hearing because, you know, <clears throat> we know each other from back then. And as we get a little bit older, this is where longevity and success comes in is when we're our age, like you're not just, you know, drinking somewhere and we can't be reached or we're, we're doing business or trying to figure things out. When I heard you did all that, I said, man, I no clue. I was more intrigued with that. I love your acting. I love it, but it's such a hard job to do that. And I meet with a lot of people, a lot of billionaires too. It's just mind blowing where they, they come from where we come from, but we're not, it's it's passion yeah i get it. you need I, people need to support channels they need to support all that stuff totally get it that's what we're doing but we don't have to go in depth we could just go next yes cool go hey next but we love the people that are supporting it because all it's your time my time but we're really truthfully here maybe doing this conversation for someone to go oh my god i actually do believe in myself Good. Yeah. and then they're gonna make they're gonna they're going to be that guy. They're going to come to us and go, hey, can we hire you two? Why us? Why us three? Because I watched your channel. Well, who are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, this is what I'm doing now. That's going to happen. You know what I mean? Great. But I don't do it for that. And it's funny. And I, I, I know, and I'll talk, but I just got to say something. You know, I posted that thing and it just been, it's, it's like, oh, it, it eats me. I'm just talking to Cole like, man, I do so many good things. Like I post this, maybe I shouldn't have posted this and this and that. But then I went back to Dino Thunder. Someone just talked about Dino Thunder. And I, I picked when, uh, when my family left Dino Thunder, I had a two bedroom apartment, really, really small it was Dino Thunder. I picked up a homeless guy it was freezing in the middle of the night. I picked him up. I said, Hey, I didn't have Instagram back then. I didn't care. I said, Hey, you look cold. Do you want to come stay in the house and shower? He did. He came. Never forget it. I had my own place. I let him do his own thing. I wasn't like, oh, let's have dinner, and I'm not doing this for clout. I just remember how happy he was, and the next day, it was a one-day thing. I did. I said, you eat? You got warm? All right, buddy. And he didn't even know who I was, and I remember I had to clean the sheets because he was, you know, he shedding hair everywhere, but he showered. He was warm one day, and that was it. I couldn't do it any other days, but when you think of things like that, and you're like, Maybe it will inspire people to give. Maybe this talk will inspire people to say, wait, I am something. I am a somebody. Like, I I do have a secret passion that I want to just let go. And, and you have that, that uh, you know, you're very good. And I say business, you are as well. I'm, I'm, I'm proud and happy. But for whatever reason, God kind of put that on my heart to kind of 
let people know to help people. And I had another scenario that and maybe this is my outlet because I couldn't for like uh, two days, I couldn't sleep like, oh, God. You know, it's like I post something, think I'm posting for the clout. I was like on TikTok just going like, I'm not never coming on TikTok again. But I remember when Jenna posted me pushing a truck and this guy was stuck in the middle of the road and nobody helped him. Cars were flying by honking. And I did a long time ago post this on Facebook where Jenna did. I was pushing a truck and Jenna said, my dad's a hero. And everyone's like, oh, you know, Jason's doing a good, good deed, pushing a truck out of an intersection. And I went back and I said, you know, the reason why that that was important is because if people knew the Green Ranger was pushing that truck, people would help. If they knew the Green Ranger, it makes no sense. How about you help the truck yeah. without knowing the Green Ranger's pushing the truck? Yes. And that, that was the point. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, people treat different. Everyone needs to be treated equal. You walk into a restaurant and I say, Nikita, you can't wear that green. That's not allowed. You can't wear your hair like that. And then they find out who you are and they go, oh, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. It's like, no, no. Stick to the rules. You're just treating me like you like. Don't treat me special. And that was the point of saying it. That if who wants to help push a truck, I'll love to help you, JDF, push a truck. It ain't about me. It's about the guy that you can't push out of an intersection. Three hundred people went by and didn't even care about the guy. I did. Jenna was filming me. I didn't oh, film me for the clout. It's just, I guess that stuff. Just I I care about my brand. I care about my business. I know you do too. And it's important to. I guess maybe it's just my way of, you know, this stuff does, it, it, it misses your head up, but God knows. That's, what, my that's girl, what I wanted to yeah. say. So I wanted to yeah. address that. So some of you don't know what we're talking about. Jason is talking about on his birthday as a gift to um, a homeless person, he gave a hundred dollar bill and he recorded it. So it's really about Jay. It's really about what's in your heart yeah. because God is the only one that you have to convince of anything. And he yeah. already knows. So when you do yeah. things from your heart, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. People yeah, yeah. are always yeah. gonna have something to say. But if you yeah. did that from your heart because you wanted to give and you gave it to him to show others that this is something that you can give no matter if you give him a dollar or a penny, $10 yeah. or whatever, if you gave it from or your emotional, heart. Or yeah. emotional, just say something positive. That's and all. Pan handles this, but can I tell you five minutes before I gave that hundred dollars out, my car was sideswiped and it's a rental car. And that's the second rental car that was that's like been destroyed. Sideswiped. So I was so angry. If you know me, you know my personality where I'm like, what guy? I, I drove out for a meeting four hours for a guy, maybe on Legend of the White Dragon. I took that time to drive out, spend a night, maybe take this meeting, maybe see where it went or where it did it, because I believed in me. Sideswiped. Five minutes later, I found this hundred dollar bill and I had to change my attitude right away because I was already like, man, I crashed the car, my car. So as soon as I gave and, and I, I stopped recording and I should have, but, but I didn't because he was like, woo, wheeling down this chair going, woo, I got a hundred dollars because when I did film, I stopped recording, the, but the shot was after, but I didn't because I did kind of, but anyway, I did it to change my attitude and give and say, okay, let, let me not be controlled by the devil. Because I know the devil right now, I just had a good meeting, just crashed the car. I got to continue in that good state. So I gave and I, I was like, oh, man, I, I didn't I want to post on my birthday to say, hey, go do something good. So it made me feel good. But it's just one of many things that we do not for the clout. Yeah. And anyway, I, it's like I, I, I do be common. Everyone. Yeah, I have an idea and, and we'll share it after this because we have a million more questions to go. Yeah. I have an idea. Remind me of that. This is another okay. super chat from Matthew Rodriguez. Super chat. Raise him up high. He's one of our, our team members. Um, Kat and Tommy forever. My favorite PR couple. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I would have to concur. I agree. I, I think, well, you know, Adam and Tanya were alluded to. We were never quite a couple, but I think that it could have worked. <laughs> I think it could have worked. So they should have they should have went on the storyline a little more on that. That would have been That'd nice. Be, All right, Mel uh, Melster Doom, super chat, super chat, raise him up high. He is one of our channel members as well. Um, hi from UK. Question for all three. Well, it'll be all two because Cat's not here yet. What was your favorite episode from Zio? Favorite episode from Zio? I'd have to probably be what uh, with my brother the. Uh, the brother fighting uh, lost and found. Uh -huh. I, I would say because it was my brother. Yeah, I, I think 
I think that was good. It was a lot of memories, but just working with my brother was, it was great. Uh, he was a tough guy. It was a lot harder job than he thought it was, but uh, that, that just personally would probably be that because I, I learned a lot about my character and uh, searching for a brother. So it was, it was a good episode. That's awesome. Um, I have a couple of favorite episodes, but I loved another song and dance. I loved what we had to sing. That was, I mean, it was so much fun. And, and your nervousness ended up just becoming just even greater than that because you, we, you couldn't turn us off. We would be standing by the, the catering and be like, Jason, do you want some of this? You'd be like, no, Nakia. We just had a really great time. That, that was a fun. That was my funnest. That was definitely my funnest. I, I love working with my brother, but that was that was a lot of fun. But you led me. Once you went, I went. Just like, you know, you go, it made me feel comfortable. Is a big fear of mine, singing, dancing, uh, reading. The names right now is a big fear of mine. I'd be like, oh, okay, you read Nakia. So that was, so you made it comfortable and cool and fun. And and uh, and, and so you, you really broke through a lot of fears. Am I still scared? Yeah, if we did another episode, I think right now I wouldn't even care. I think it'd be fun. Well, you just did it on here. So proud of you. <laughs> I was really nervous. It did bring, but you made me so comfortable. So yeah, then we couldn't turn it off. It was, uh, it was, we were definitely in mode. So that was definitely a lot of fun. Oh, uh, Matthias Rodriguez again, super chat. Hey, Jason and the girls too. We're from Morphin Postagem group. Love you so much. Please send, send love to us in Brazil. We appreciate so much. Have you been to Brazil? I have. And I got to tell you, it was years ago. You guys, I was going to ask you girls too. Have you guys been to Brazil? No, not yet. Oh, prepare yourself because I tell you what, I went eight years ago and I filmed my reality show that my morphin life and I didn't know it was going to be like that. It was at a smaller place. I mean, I stage dived. I, it was just mind blowing and I was supposed to go back. So just imagine how it was years ago. Yes. It was huge. Brazil, so much love for Power Rangers. I mean, it, it's a lot of love. So Brazil, we hope to come out. Yes. Some you guys will be blown away. No, when I say that, like, if I'm like, what? Can't keep, like, it's going to be like that mind blowing. If I'm mind blown, you're going to be like, it's crazy. <laughs> you go out there on stage and do a and tons, so much love in Brazil. You'd be shocked. Well, I've seen pictures because I know that um, Font and Aaron and Copan, um, yep. I think Sierra. Yeah. And I've seen pictures when they did uh, a selfie and they had the, the whole, I, I was amazed. Absolutely amazed. Yeah. That's one. But that group, those seasons or age groups are a little bit different. Our age group is reason makes it so mega is our age group of the, the MPR, the Zeo, the turbo. That's like hitting a whole different. Ah, that's why I say, you know, the, the like, Oh my God. So that's that age group in the uh, other seasons that the other Rangers were in. Sure. But our seasons hits that age group so crazy in Brazil. That's why I say prepare yourself. You've seen pictures, but but our episodes and, and especially now, I don't know about you, but Zeal is kind of like really people asking for a lot of Zeal stuff now. And I've never had that happen on shows. It's really wild. Like, do you have a Zeal picture? I'm like, what? You know, yeah, I really like Zeal. It's my favorite. I'm like, oh, Nicole, make sure we get some Zeal pictures. So Zeal's really taken off. It really is. Well, I appreciate that. You know that. I, I always when I go to cons, I am the only one in Zio who was not in Mighty Morphin. Yeah, so, but it's good representing a huge thing. That's like that's why I always think of you when it's like Zio, Zio. I'm like, wow, like Zio is really. You know, I was there from the beginning, so you got you know fans raising, growing up, passing the age. But right now, I've been having so much Zio. That's why I was saying when you girls come to Texas, like. It's not about who I am, what I do. It's about Zio right now. It's really popular right now, and it and, and it's just the beginning. You're gonna you're gonna see this big vitamin effect for Zio. If I'm hearing it, and of course people, I love Zio, but then you know you got the green and the white, and all of a sudden then you're coming into this Zio era and it hasn't even hit us yet. That's why people are saying, hey, maybe you can come do a uh, you know Zio this, Zio that, maybe turbo. It's, it's starting to to get there, and it's not even there yet. So you're. It, You'll see, it's just, it's it's crazy. I, I, I've been there forever. I see things and get a lot of requests for that. So it's a good thing you're representing Zeal, like straight up, which is cool. Perfect. And other things. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah. Super Chad, raise them up high, Skyhound. What did you think about doing your character for Power Rangers Hyperforce? 
Oh, that was different. Hyperforce, I just had a fan tell me that. I'm not, I don't know much about, uh, you know, the uh, game playing rope, the, the, the stuff they do, Hyperforce, but it was all ad-libbed. So it was a dark character. Lord Dracula was really dark. So there was a couple scenes I did. They're probably like, I wouldn't say that because they said, what would Lord Dracula do if he came into the room? Say, Off with all of their heads. <laughs> I, oh, he's so dark. And I'm Welcome. like thinking. Did you miss me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. We, we did. I was watching you but, uh, while I was waiting for my kids. I was watching you guys just to make sure you didn't say anything mean. <laughs> oh, dang it. Uh, look how good the show was when you left. <laughs> it, it was like, you just like, what? Like, oh my God, they got in so much depth. No, for real. Though. But uh, <laughs> we're talking about that role playing Hyperforce game they asked me. And when I was Lord Zed uh, or Lord Zed, Lord Draken, I was just so evil and I, I was able to ad lib. So I was just like, what would Draken do? Like, off with their heads. Dragon would do it, and everyone's like, oh, you're so dark. And then I didn't know if I could say that, but yeah, I, I made it really dark in that game. I think you're. It was fun. That's Lily. Oh, okay. All right. Moving to the next super chat. They keep coming in. We're going to have to at some point just say, we're gonna I, have think, to. I think if I, if I, I in 15 with minutes, us for almost two I know. Hours. We owe him a lot. What, what do we so owe him? So we, we have 15 <laughs> minutes left, and we're going to get through this. Talking. That's why. So I think if we just do the super chats, I'll I'll get to their question. Okay. I'm like, you know, I'm a, so let's let's commit the super chats right now. I'm not going to rush them. I'm just going to answer the questions and we'll move on to the, the next super chat. Okay. Good. Super chat. Raise them up high. Alex Nori, one of our members. Have you guys ever considered a career in politics? No, definitely no. not. No. You see how I went to the point on that? <laughs> when I well, actually, when I was I in, you want to run for president? When I was in high school, I was I was always the the president, the student body president, and I thought that one day I would want to be into politics, but no, I'm good. No, no. <laughs> All right, Jordan on for president. Okay. <laughs> uh, Super Dad, raise, raise my pie. pie. Joan Fazio, one of our members. JDF would would ever be in a in but would you ever be in Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Uh, probably not, but I do know the whole, all those casts. I love the guys, but uh, I don't see Jason or Tommy being into Buffy. <laughs> I'm just trying to see, be short. See, I'm trying to be short. Like, <laughs> that was fast. Good yeah. job. All right. Super, Super chat. Where's my pie? JDF, are you going to? Oh, Cristobal, Cristobal Guzman. Cristobal Guzman, yes. Would, are you going to come to Chile? You have a lot of fans in Chile, apparently. Yeah, there's a lot. A My lot of fans. Shot. When things clear up, I will. Because I, I, I'm supposed to go to Chile every year and something happens. So Chile, and like I, I was telling the kid, Brazil, hands down, you guys would be mind-blowing of the, the universes, the MPR, Zio, and Turbo. Crazy over there. So yes, we'll one day we'll come to Chile. Awesome. Back up Chile. No, I'm just kidding. Back it up, Chile. Back it up, Chile. Back it up. <laughs> Super Dad, raise my pie. Prince, Prince Leo. Question for all three of you. Would you say there's no age limit to being a Power Ranger? JDF was around 20 when cast, I think. Jason Font was 27 for Time Force. Archie Cow was 30 for Lost Galaxy. Was he really? Wow. Hmm. I think it just depends on what you look like. I mean. In the spandex. Yeah. David Yost was, I think when he, David Yost started, he was like 32 or something like that really? when he started. <laughs> really? Was he really? Wow. Are you, you're lying. You're messing with him. No. Oh, really? Oh, wait, he's doing a little spark there. Billy Yost. No, I'm not Billy Yost. <laughs> Billy Yost. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't say that there is. I really, because I, I see people in movies that are 40, seriously, playing a 20-year-old. So yeah. I'm 45, but I don't think that I could play necessarily my age. I'm often cast for um, early 30s. Yeah, um, totally. So I yeah. think it, it really just depends. It depends on the role and the casting and what the producers are looking for. Yeah. It's always older, right? You got 90210 kids that are like not high school. And, and Chuck Norris told me too, which was super crazy. He goes, you know, Jason, you have hope. My career didn't start until I was 50. And I was like. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. That's very encouraging. Norris. And I was like, dang, I'm 47. So I can't wait for three more years. <laughs> it's going to go all downhill one way or another. I'm rolling. <laughs> That's like Denzel Washington too. He's he got a late start in his career. And Viola, Viola Davis. Davis. Yeah. yeah. All right. Super right. chat. Oh. Raise him up high. Hey Matthias. Uh, Matthias Rodriguez. Hey Jason and the girls too. 
We're from more. Oh, they they really they they We're like to say hello from Brazil again. Yes. Morf and Prostagem. Thank you guys. That's, that's right. Brazil. Thank you, Brazil. Thank you, Brazil. It's yes. overwhelmed. You're I say Brazil, you can super chat in it. That's what I say. I say we have a contest right now. Let's see if Brazil's going to beat all the super chats right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think on. so. I think so. <laughs> they will. They will. Yeah. Raise it up high. Just wanted, to, just wanted to say hi. One of our, our members. Thank you. Thank you. Um, super chat. Raise them up high. high. Um, Charlie, thanks for always being kind to all of us fans over here. You really do meet your heroes. Oh. Uh, thanks, Charlie. Charles? Charlie. Where is he from? Oh, where? UK? Huh? No, he, he didn't say where he's from. Just, no, okay. he's from the US. Oh, US, because there's a dollar sign. Yeah. There. That's oh. how we know. That's yeah. how we okay. know. Yes. All right. We're, we're Super chat. Raise them up high. Raise that was on you got just me that time. Oh, there we go. Jason got in there. Woo. Get it? I want to say a big thank you to Kat and Nakia. Ah, he's one of our Patreon members. Ah, I can, that's I'm cool. poor and I can't go to cons and meet people. I save for months to get your pictures, but what you're doing, I can meet and talk to the people. I can meet you. When you say my name, I have a big smile. Oh, Kenny Aww. Shibata. Thank, thank you for your Bob. large contribution and for being one of our channel members and you know supporting us and allowing us to to enter your life. Thank yes, you. Thank you so much. You. It's so fun, Jason. We have we set up a Discord channel for our fans and they all talk to each other now. So for our members. Like our oh, members that's so, good. so they have that like their good. own channel. It's really cool. Yeah. Okay, uh, super chat. Raise up high. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna get to super chat. Yeah, just chat. Grant Martinez. Well, sound like a putty. She went. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> How did he become a teacher in Dino Thunder? How did I? Yes. <laughs> I don't <And> know. <laughs> I was a doctor and I didn't question them and, and I said, okay, that sounds very cool. <laughs> but I old being a teacher. I kind of wanted to be a teen, you know, when you're like, come back as a teacher, you're like, oh, I can't play a teenager no more. They're like, no, fine. And I became a teacher. Okay. That's it. There you go. A doctor. A doctor Oliver. I always wanted to be like, is there a doctor here? And then try and then work and be like, I'm sorry. We lost them. <laughs> I thought you were a doctor. Hey, bud, I'm just one on TV. <laughs> I just played doctor on TV, <laughs> but I was a doctor. However, that worked out. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, nice. Super chat. Raise my pie. Uh, Joan Fazio. Again, hello, JDF. I also want to say I was the kid that was bullied in school. In fact, I'm still getting bullied for my life choices. Oh. You're the one who keeps me strong. Wow. Oh, thank and you. So, yeah, you do definitely, definitely stay strong because it is a – turn on white. It is – oh, there's a light switch? Oh, weird. Uh, <laughs> no. I'm the light guy. I'm the lighting guy. No, but uh, stay strong. And uh, life is, you know, life. I tell people life is a battle. It's just how you take it. You just got to keep, you know, believing in yourself and, and not worrying about those other people, which is hard to say. But that's what you got to do. Stay strong. Stay, um, you know, keep your, keep your confidence. Don't let people break you down. Yeah. Okay. We're going to we're gonna ask that. Um... I think we need to stop, stop asking. Yeah, the super chat. Oh, uh, was Brazil? Why? Because Brazil's coming in. <laughs> coming in strong. Um, no, it's Are just you? it's just that we said five o'clock, but we're gonna stop the super chats uh, from coming in so that we okay, can finish I all of the ones that are still here. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Because we we want to get to all of these, so we're we're not accepting any more super chats today. But thank you guys. I mean, I just don't even know what to say. I'm I knew it was going to be a lot, but I didn't know it was, was going to be like this much. So very very appreciative. Okay. Yes. Yeah, raise them up high. You don't know want to do the voice. Raise them up. <laughs> <laughs> my new that's my new thing. That's my new dance. Jenna's gonna say, Dad, please don't do oh, that. You're dad. It's so <laughs> embarrassing, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> yeah, I've always been, but it's fine. Um, uh, okay. That's why you have kids, because we're supposed to embarrass them. That's the fun part. <laughs> super chat, raise it's them up fun. high. JDF, oh, sorry, hi guys. Yeah. Productions. JDF just rewatched Power Rangers Hyperforce and loves seeing your role, your you role playing with the team. How did you like the experience, and would you do that again? I don't know if I would do it again. It was really hard. I think you guys would be uh, light. I think you guys would be great at it. You guys love ad libbing. 
I would have to know a little bit more about how to play the game before I would play. Because like I said, I played Drak and he was dark. So maybe as Tommy, I, I need to understand it a little bit more hyperforce. Yeah. Before I, but it was fun. Yeah. But do they still had, do it? They still have that on? I don't think so. No, no I don't think so. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, super chat. Raise, Raise them up high. high. Z Omega Alpha nine thousand. Just a hello. Just a Just shout, shout out. out. Shout out. Uh. Uh. Super chat. Raise them up high. Two questions from twenty two A A A. Um. Do you all watch anime? And how can I be a part of Legend of the White Dragon as an actor wannabe? <laughs> uh, it's a, as an actor wannabe. Yes. <laughs> Well, you know, I'd say just when things are going, just do the best you can. If, if it's meant to be, God will put you in that position. Uh, anime, I don't. I know Johnny does a ton of voices. I'm sure he does the voices. He might not watch all the episodes because it's probably not possible. Yeah. But uh, the only anime stuff I've seen is probably stuff Johnny's done, but they're probably just clips. Right. Of just because I'm like, do that voice, you know. But uh, you kind of did an anime. You did We Bear Bears. You did. Oh, I, well, I did We Bears. Bears. I did uh, uh, Transformers. But I don't yeah. think they count as uh, anime. anime. We Bear Bears doesn't. Okay. I, yeah, I actually. Transformers love... I did. Too. I... I used to watch Robotech. Robotech. I was oh yeah. Robotech fan growing up. In a nutshell, Tony Oliver was Rick Hunter. He was the voice of of Rick Hunter. Oh, so when wow. I was a kid, I grew. It, I said, oh my God, you you play the voice of, of uh, Robotech? So that was my big thing. That's cool. He has a great I, voice, Tony. I actually, yeah. um, the only anime that I watched is, um, I love Attack on Titan. I watched that with my son. Okay. So I was, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I, got, I, I watched it to screen it, and then it, I ended up falling in love with the show, and then I watched the whole season, a couple of seasons. I'm sure there's a lot of good stuff, mm -hmm. and your kids can introduce you. There's a lot of good stuff out there. I, I think uh, it's just my attention span is very short. I like to talk. <laughs> The, the, the Tiger King, that was that was fun. I like tigers. The Tiger King. Oh, the Tiger King. That was. Classic. I haven't watched anime. My, oh. my boys watch anime, but I haven't. I haven't, and, and I need to get into it though. It's crazy. All right. Okay. Uh, super chat. Raise them up high. Hi. Ruba Star. Can we? Let me bring this down. Can we hear you all sing again together a Tommy and Tanya reunion? Yes, please, guys. I would love that, to um, have that. With, hey, a time of morphin' time, right? Yeah, it's. I say let's stop this crime, and then you say it's morphin' time. Ready? Morphin. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> let's stop this crime. It's morphin' time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! The first time I just did it without being. It was just normal. Now I'm like, okay, what do you want me to say? Uh, what is it? First time. Yes. Just going, Whoa. Good job. Very nice. Very nice. Good okay. job. Oh my gosh, there are so many. Why can I not stop? Singing? Oh yeah. Stop singing. Uh, super chat. Raise them up high. Hi. Thank super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Uh, super chat. Oh. <laughs> Prince Leo, thanks so oh. much for signing my White Ranger figure, JDF. Meeting my childhood hero was an honor. You make me want to go back to martial arts and get my third degree. I hope I find availability to do that. Oh, thank you, man. Keep training. It's keep a training. it's a gift. Uh, well, just keep doing it. Thank you. Because I'm behind you. now. You Hold need on. to make an, a, an appearance on uh, Cobra yeah. Kai, Jay. I've been watching Cobra. Cobra. I'm surprised they, yeah, I mean, Cobra Kai is great. I, I'm surprised they, well, not surprised. I'm not surprised. That's like taking the Power Rangers and doing what Cobra Kai did, which is not, as, you know, it's a no-brainer. But, yeah, it'd be super cool. That'd be fun for you to do a cameo. No, we didn't. They should start Power Rangers to anime, too. We should all be anime cartoons and do the voices because see cartoons we could do the voice we don't even even if we get older we still sound like it yeah i just met a man who said i walked by you and you sound like tommy and i was thinking i don't <laughs> think so uh, tommy was trying to be nice you know like i'm just a kid from out there and i'm being tommy yeah, that's not how i really <laughs> talk but i guess i do kind of sound like kind of. that's why i change in ninja steel i didn't want to sound like hey you're going cat <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's this morph. <laughs> let's, do, let's morph. Let's do it. Okay. Team chat. Ready? Huh? There's a couple missing Team, in here. What do we say? Power Rangers, right? Power, let's do that. Power, Power, Rangers. Power Rangers. Right? Jason's like, whatever. He's, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I, I can't find it on here. Music. But I can you. you. <laughs> All right, you better get a question. Uh, Super chat, raise them up high. Music, gr girl Sam. I almost said grism. There we go. I messed up one. Did you. you do this one? Yes, I already did that one. We just talked about that. 
Okay. Hey guys, it's Samantha Lady, Melody of Sam. Jason, I'm sure you remember me. But Catherine, do you love Cat with Tommy or Billy? JDF, see you on Spoken Truth. Um, ah, thank you, thank love... you. And the question was for you. You yes, like JDF? They said, do I love being with Tommy or or should I be with Billy? So what you're saying is you had something with Billy. <laughs> oh, let's move on from this question. <laughs> Man, I learn everything all the time. Oh, Cat and you know, he didn't really go to Aquatar. <laughs> <laughs> he went to, he he went went to, to your visit special home. my special private room. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is after dark. PR Power Rangers after dark. No, I would have to say Tommy. I I loved Tommy. All right. Um Super Chat. <laughs> <Where's my laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, hey, JD. Oh, this is from M Micaiah Bear. Uh, hey, JDF. It was fun seeing you at Wizard World Asylum Comics and Games back in Tulsa, Oklahoma on September 6th. I can't wait to see you again. Go, go, Power Rangers. Ah, yes. Thank you. I just got back. That's why I'm so dark. I wrote, I just got back last night at 1200, uh, 1300 miles on my motorcycle. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you be yeah, safe. It was fun. You be yeah. safe. Okay, so I just want to, because I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to post them up here so everybody can see the questions. And then Kat is reading them from another computer. So I wanted to post. Makia had also uh, just donated, just sent oh. a donation. So thank you, Makia Bear. Thank you so much. And then, um, Prince, this was your question. Um, for some reason, it was like a little behind. So I just want to try to catch up oh, so and that we, we can. Oh, we get a face with the name. Too. Yes. Okay. And yeah. This one... I see nothing, just like a green screen. <laughs> I know, I know. And oh, this look is there. Music's girl. And then um, this was. Uh, Am I pointing anything point, on the screen? Yes. Yeah. yes. Point down. Okay, can I go now? Yes, you can okay. go now. Super chat. Raise them up high. For Jason and Nakia, what was it like auditioning for Family Matters? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that, was, that just happened. And it happened to be randomly that I played Skull. That was the name, just random. And, uh, the guy that I played with, who was the leader of the Piranha Gangs, uh, uh, Ronaldo, he was actually in Power Rangers. I, he was uh, one of the. He was in Power Rangers. Uh, anyway, he worked on Power Rangers, and he was in, we were working together on Family Matters. I forgot what he did on Power Rangers, but it was an episode. He was in an episode. I think two episodes. Ronaldo. Oh. He was wow. in okay. Power Rangers, and he that happened to be Skull. Didn't have anything to do with Bulk and Skull. I just that was when I had my goatee, and I could put my hair in cornrows yeah. at that time. But, yeah, I just uh, I, I just remember saying, calling the the, the old lady old bitty, <laughs> yeah, and I was thinking ah that kind of sounds bad, but then you know I could be what I want. Yeah, you old bitty. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember uh, you you were in that with Rio, the guy that played my boyfriend? Yeah, that's what I think is I think it, yeah is it Ronaldo? His name Rio? is Rio. Rio. Oh, oh, I thought it was Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Rio Rio had pay, played my boyfriend, and I don't. I don't know how I knew the two watch. Peter, he was there, right? I thought his name was Rolando. No, he was he was in Power Rangers. He played your boyfriend then. He, yes. Um, sure. Yeah. He was, no, he was guest starring too. But by the time I had gotten to the audition, they had told me that they had already seen you and they saw Rio and they were like, wow, this is just like a Power Ranger day. And I was like, yeah, well, you just need to hire another. But I didn't end up getting it. You guys did. I guess they were like, okay, that's a wrap on the Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> That's but crazy. it was fun. It was just like any other audition. You go in and you, you do your very best, Animus Prime. And if it's yeah. meant for you, then it'll happen. And if not, then then not. I did that MTV Undressed. <laughs> yeah, I know we're going, but that, M that MTV <laughs> Undressed, that show, that was like a, it was a, it was a show I did MTV Undressed. Oh, and I, oh. Before, With it was Alice the worst. Sullivan. Sullivan. It was the worst audition I've ever done, and I walked away, and I did not want to get it. And they're like, that was the best you've ever done. You got the job. So when I got the job, the girl, I think her name was Allison. I don't know. Yeah, but Allison she, Sullivan. She's, she's a Power Ranger. Ranger. I know, but it was her first job, and we had to do all this kissing scene and all this other stuff. And then when Disney brought me back, they were like, well, uh, you know, you got to clear a few things. You know, you did undress it. I, of course I did. And she's the Yellow Ranger, so what are you asking me questions for? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, she's working on the show. Yeah, she was a Power Ranger. But, yeah, I remember. It was her first. I, I, that's what she told me. It was her first time, but who knows? <laughs> she didn't tell me it was her, my first you scene. Brought, you really broke her in. <laughs> the first scene, we had to do this kissing scene. And, 
hugging. It was so uncomfortable because it just, I had it. It, it was just, awkward. yeah. It, really it was, awkward. It was, I didn't, wasn't feeling good with the, that audition either. And I called my, eight, my agent at three in the morning. I was like, I can't go to this audition. Like, I ate shellfish or something. And I, I, I just, I broke up. I, I don't know. I just didn't want to go to the audition. I was no, super sick. And nervous. I, just, oh, I just blew off that audition. Like, I just wanted to suck. And I probably did suck. And they're like, okay, good. You got hired. Or they just wanted a Power Ranger. But I remember leaving that audition. And I was like, I, I hope I don't get this job. Because I don't feel good. And they say, yeah, you got it. And then it was That's undressed. I was the whole time. That's, That's Hollywood. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Super Dad. Dad. Raise him up high. Can you describe the last day on Turbo, Nikia and JDF? I was heartbroken. Uh, Chanzo is one of our uh, team members. I cried the entire time. Um, they had to keep, you know, cut! You know, Kat and I <laughs> looked a hot mess. <laughs> but I think most of them have heard our, our story. What What is yours? What is your last day? I just passed the PowerPoint and was like, God bless you, brother. I'm out. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> well, you were ready. You were ready to go. You would uh, yeah, go for a it was, while. It was, it was it was planned that way. But uh, but yeah, and, and you know, I think it was a good way to, to do it. If you want to leave, I tell everyone out there, do your two week notice. Don't leave your boss hanging. Just leave with, and that's what I did. So yeah, it was kind of at that point where I was like, no problem. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. Like, Drop the mic. I don't know the Drop exact line. I have to I have to rewatch him because honestly, being in it, I don't go back and watch it. I had to view that the Power Ranger movie with the live audience and I don't remember seeing that movie and I kept cutting like okay stop and I'm like okay what else does he have to say we're, we're on a schedule they got a band playing I didn't know so I should just shut up and let it roll but I could go back to that scene and go back to this scene I didn't know we're on a time schedule but there's a lot of things I learned by watching something so that'd be really cool to watch something and really be like ah I remember. That's like what we've Captain been doing on that show. Yeah. We, we, we just watched that at the passing of the torch, yeah. and it made no sense. Like, yeah. We didn't, under I didn't, we didn't understand how we chose who we chose to pass to. We were like, wait a minute. What was the episode? How? Because I don't remember working with, um, you know, Tracy and Roger and Selwyn. I, and I we didn't. <laughs> we did it. That's probably why. And I was like, yeah. how did? why would I choose that when we hadn't been hanging out or – uh, yeah. like you're worthy because I don't even know you. That's what it should have been. Here, I'm going to give it to you. I don't know what you're going to do, but here. Yeah. <laughs> Just take the damn coin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry, beep. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Jason Phillips, Super Chad, raise him up high. For JDF, how, Stan Lee at, how is Stan Lee at cons? Stan Lee was amazing. He was super cool. Um, I just talked to to Max not too long ago, and uh, Stan was a great guy. And uh, I I was talking about the Black Panther. I know someone else created, but Stan's idea was to create his first black superhero, and I uh, created the the Black Panther. And I always wonder what you know Stan would after seeing what I post and stuff. But Stan was always great. Always went out of his way to come and hey JDF. And I remember in Chicago I was signing and. Somebody was over here, and I was like, okay, bud, hold on, hold on. And it was Stan in line trying to surprise me. And I, I looked at him, oh, he's like, hey. Aww. You know, he was, but I was almost like, okay, bud, hold on. Hold on, wait your turn. And it was Stan. So I was like, oh, so Stan was a great guy. Aww, and uh, much respect for all of his creations yes. in the universe that he done. Brilliant. What a brilliant mind. Um. Super Chad, raise my pie to Bolton Biggs, one of our members, just shout giving out. a shout out. Uh, What's up? Morphin Network, Network. Super Chad, raise my pie. pie. Thank you for being out. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I think they're like, hey, it's time to end. The post yeah. is falling off. Uh, Morphin Network, thank you for being. I can't move this. Thank you for being. <laughs> Thank you for being our heroes and inspiring us. Love you all, Morphin Network. Love you too, Morphin Thank Network. You. you guys have been Thanks. very supportive throughout the years. Where's Brazil? Where's Brazil? We're supposed to do that contest. Back up, back up. Back up, Chile. Back up, Chile. Back up, back up, Chile. Where's, where's, the, where's uh, the, all the Brazil love right now? Yeah, <laughs> Brazil. They've, they've gone to sleep. <laughs> um, we got them all. Wait, one more. Oh. Uh, because what? one came in at the end. Another super chat for oh, Bolton. Bolton. Uh, super, super chat. chat. Raise him up high. Bolton Biggs once again. Bolton. Another shout out. Another shout out. And then Jason, you All right, are buddy. extremely patient and kind with your time. And oh, no, of course. 
And we are so grateful. You are such a busy man, and we did not expect to have you on this long. I thought five hours. <laughs> no, Nakia, she said, I said, how long can I have you? And she, I said, as long as you want. She says, five hours? And I said, yeah. And I got the phone, <laughs> and I like, said, oh, crap. Why did I agree to this? <laughs> oh, I said, was she serious about five hours or not? <laughs> I don't think she was. So, well, I'm just playing the five hours in because the way she said, okay, and the way I Okay, so I maybe figured, <laughs> so I allowed the time. That is <laughs> love. This is the very last question. It came in at the very end, and this is Big Licky Studios. Scott, you got to get your acting skills ready for this one. Yes, take a deep breath. <laughs> you must do your evil green Green Ranger. <laughs> Can you say action though? Jesus, oh, okay, cut me right. off. And oh, rolling, rolling, speed, action. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to end! Like, I thought you were choking for a second there at the end. That was like, yeah, he was he was cracking the grenades. <laughs> that was a beautiful ending and scene, guys. Thank scene. you so much, Jay. Just hang on for a second. Thank you guys yep. so much for joining us on yes. Power Rangers Playback. This is the longest. Yeah, live stream that we've had. This is two hours and ten minutes. So oh, it didn't feel that long. Yay! Yay! Thank you guys. Thank you guys. We love you. Bye. Got two hours and forty-five minutes left. Two hours and forty-five minutes left. <laughs> Bye.